Welcome to the Fragments of Eternity, which is a Starfinder game brought to you by Ryan. That's me, the GM. It is Hello. the 2nd of March, thank you. It's 2020. <laughs> and here, session 43, I think. I don't think I said that yet, but it's session 43, finally. Here oh my god! Hello! I am Nico, and I'm playing Zora, the best cat. Zora, that is. Not Zora. We're, we're out of order tonight. We are, but it's great. So I'm going next. Hi, it's me, your boy, Nix5, and I play Alex, the android mechanic. Hey, bitches. Uh, <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> state, state of affairs here, the absolute state. Anyway, uh, yeah, so hi, I'm Colin. I, uh, I play Lyco Quint. Uh, and I uh, will be uh, your your resident spooky, uh, sneaky guy. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Operative. Oh, you no. Know. <laughs> 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 this is spooky. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> We're off to a great start, guys. <laughs> Listeners at home. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Callum. Hi. I was told to break up with my wife today. And I'll <laughs> child bride. Your child, remember when I called your girlfriend a child bride? I amuse myself. So, you're uh, Callum. Hello. <laughs> I'm Callum. I shall be playing Zig. Uh, I was going to say Vesk. He's not a Vesk, he's a Misoki. Space, space wizard. Still Mystic time. Solar Disciple <laughs> from the sun, bringing uh, sun news to you every day. But not so this is from the sun. the sun. We have heat. This has been good. I've enjoyed this. And warmth. Oh man, why have I agreed to run another game for you guys? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because what are resistible? Yeah, that must be it. Uh, Fantastic, yeah. quite frankly. I already have, I already have my... I mean, who else right? delivers such amazing fucking intros like that? I mean, like, pardon my French. <clears throat> yeah, editor. We'll edit in post, don't worry. Um, right, okay, so, let's talk about goals in the briefest way possible. No. So we have a new goal system, for those still following us somehow. Or, for those of you who have just started following us... Please continue, like, subscribe, tell all your friends. And we made that video, the story so far, like just so that you can listen to that instead of us for 42 mm. seconds. So It's four hours. It's only four hours compared to, like, the 400 hours. <laughs> yeah. Four hours still of commercial hours. free RP. <laughs> so long as you still add blocker. Broadcast alive! <laughs> anyway, um... So, new goal system, they're now group goals, if you will, I, and goals. Nico, tell us the first goal. We will, and I mean it, we will, this is me stalling, get back to the final level, <laughs> regroup slash brief. <laughs> okay, next. Make weapons to kill Hamani, and find somewhere safe to keep them. We've also got getting a valuable ally against the Mogesh. That's the Mori. And uh, gather intel to pursue next objective. Which might be an individual, an item. Who knows? A planet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, explore a possible connection between the solar egg and the void egg. So there's our new goals. Uh, who remembers what happened last time? Ah, there was a lot of... Uh, hmm. There's the credits for everything. Apples. Moral, moral exploration. Start. Okay. Remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then shit went down. It's like went a wee bit cocaine crazy, started hearing shit. Mm -hmm. Where to um. go, where to go. See what Did that you see cocaine crazy? Yep. Absolutely. It's a Star Wars like, RP is... reference. 
Nico uh, as Andor went cocaine crazy in the Star Wars game. For okay. I didn't. Like, I was being completely sane. Sure. Cocaine. Great. No, that, that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't want that. Um, Either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. We don't want that. <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> I believe Zig went to follow the sounds. And, uh, I did. What was it? You fell into a lake or something? You really need to stay away from the <laughs> Like you fell into a pond or something. It's, it's a theme. You grabbed into a pond or something. Like I don't know. Like Again, you fell into water. Like, like, no, <laughs> you fell well, into like, from, water or something. Well, he from Zig's point of view, there was no water. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, yes, he walked. He walked into. He walked into this little pool of water, sat down, and started. Stay away from water. <laughs> This weird spooky ass bitch came out and was like, whoa! That's <laughs> <Yes>, right! <laughs> Give me yeah. Colin just a second. Right, just. But please continue. <laughs> well, we. <laughs> you water walked into me! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Good please, time! Sir. Sorry, Carol! <laughs> anyway, and as this, this crazy weird, weird woman, man, lady thing was all up in Zig's face. He got sucked into something or other, and then... Uh-huh. A, but then Nyx was it's somewhere a else, in a, in a place somewhere else as well, or whatever, and uh, Zig popped up and was like, hey, with an apple. Can Zig swim? <laughs> That's <laughs> never been an well. issue. <laughs> Through time? <laughs> yes, it seems. Um, Oh, yeah, dear. but can he blush? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Should he be near water? <laughs> right. So. So. Are we missing any other pressing details? Uh, possible future Nix was there. Nix went to go find him and then vanished up the stairs. So did uh, Lyco and he's currently about to probably get dragged in by crazy spooky bitch into the water or something like that. I don't I'm know. sure that won't happen to me. This thing yeah. sort of never happens to me. Everybody's went missing. This sort of except thing. For, except for Lyco, I think. I can't remember if he's went missing yet. Or if I've went missing yes, yet. Yes, when Who he's knows? turned up to Absalom when he vanished from the ship. I mean, he goes missing all the time that way, alright? I mean, currently, presently. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yes. Okay. Yep. Being very man on the stairs. I guess it. <laughs> Don't start, Zig. Don't start your shit. Okay. <laughs> so, we open up our session, finally, in a dimly lit corridor with the sound of dripping water with Lyco. And Zora. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I am directly in front of the water, right? The uh, the water into which Ziggy Boy disappeared. Yeah, so you've walked like down a corridor. And he's a bit further back. Yeah, like if you want, we could we could. Throw something together to kind of show you. It's a long whole situation. Give me a second. I'll throw mm-hmm. something together. It's cool to be. So, so nice. Keep on saying that word. <laughs> it's like, I don't think it means what you think it means. Yeah, where are we here? Where is everybody? Where are all the player characters? Right, so. No more rhyming, and I mean it. Does anyone want a peanut? I'm going to put everybody in here so we can see. Are we humus or are we dancing? I gotta say. Definitely humus. I like humus, but I also like Danzig. Right, so we're gonna dump you guys here. Mm, no, that's too broken. In there. Too broken. Right, so Zara, do you have any kind of visual aid devices? I are infrared sensor and I have a uh, dimly vision. Okay. So what, what's the range on that? 60 feet dim light, 30 feet through uh, just uh, dark vision. Let me see and I'll click it for you. Just to, if you Can you see now? Click. It, uh, to see, so see you drag us in the way. Yes, I can. Uh, can you see the light? Right, so 
there you go. There's a rough idea of what the, the thing's like. And I've only put the other two there because obviously they need to see what's going on, I guess, instead of staring at nothingness. Oh, 60 feet dark vision, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I gave you. Cool. Because you can see 60 feet, but you said there was a limit to the... There was dim after a bit, was it not? Uh, so, uh, to be honest, I've got low light vision. I don't. I can't, I would need to double check the lead for that. But no, yeah. I'll, I'll adjust for you. There you go. I've got that light vision, sixty feet. So, uh, yeah, that's better, <laughs> and everybody should be able to see in this room. Yep, I can see it. Perfecto. Two, six, two. Yes. I'm going to dump them two in the middle. I see only myself. Just so you just have range of the whole thing, even though you aren't there. So. You find yourself in this corridor. Uh, any signs of where they went? Oh, I would think say down the corridor. I, uh, who are you? I can't see you in the screen. He'll be, be here. Up. He's back yeah. up the corridor. Right. Um. Walk him slowly. So you're actually in the line of sight. Like there, I clearly could see you at this point. I mean, you were illuminated, weren't you? Dimly lit. Remember. Uh, okay. There's um. Limits in this game, annoyingly. <laughs> yeah. Which is not really quite how light works, but we'll deal with that. Yeah. He. He's gone. Gone. Look for yourself. I gesture to the water. What? What is the the water like? What? What am I looking at exactly? A pond. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much just a pond. Like there's a crack of light coming in from the top above it, as if the stone's been broken, and it's okay. Like there's water dripping in to this pool. And it's just like it maybe it's filled a crevice in the room. It doesn't look like it was actually built as that. So yeah, you look into the dark water. It just looks like there's steps down into like a, you know, dark pool. It seems to have been filled. Fair up. enough. Yeah. Um. He was. As, as to what purpose this place serves, no idea. He was in there, and then he just wasn't. I don't think he's gone deeper. I don't know if there is deeper. Probably. <clears throat> Maybe we should ask the Queen, but... Uh, I'm concerned <laughs> about getting back to her. I, I don't really... I don't really like the... Uh, situation. Hmm. I'd shake my head. Well, I've got no experience with uh, whatever this is. <laughs> Pawns. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 would, I would touch it. Touch it. Yeah? Touch it. It's a pond. It's a pond. Yeah, your hand gets wet. <laughs> ah, well, they've gone went somewhere. Yeah, but uh, I don't think he went down, and he certainly didn't come out. I don't know if we can actually follow him. Can I? Can I roll like a? To see if I can see anything that might illuminate the room to me. I mean, don't mean that in the literal sense. I mean, like, give me an idea of what exactly I'm looking at. Like, just could I perception it to see? I mean, oh, you, you try know, and work out what the room was for, or like, yeah, that sort of thing, or or. Um, is there like an investigate or suss out skill? <laughs> we know this. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Why don't you try and do sense motive, right? Sense motive. Really, that's what you're trying to do. What was? What's this room's motive? <laughs> I 
Are you sure you don't want me to roll perception? <laughs> I mean, my perception is worse, which is probably fair. No, like, I feel it's valid, right? Because it's the same idea. You're trying to understand, right? You're yeah, to... if, you, if you're happy with me rolling sense motif. Yeah. So... You have no idea what the room is for. You, like, it's yeah. basically a dead end. And it seems like this crack has made this, like staircase, the circular staircase that goes down or circular stairs is maybe a better way of putting it, that go down fill it with water but why would the stairs go down to what clearly is nothing because there's obviously a bottom to it yeah uh, it could be a sealed door it could just be a lot of water over the years mm -hmm. um I don't know, suppose I'll say to the captain. Uh, I mean, it looks like it just looks like the the damage to the the structures allowed the uh, I don't know wh whatever this stairwell leads to to flood and it, yeah, he he he, di he didn't go down there, Cap. So I don't think we're finding him through physical means. Uh, I sort of scratch my head a little bit. <laughs> I mean. Could be some magic drivel. I mean, I've, I've I've never really been good at that. That this sort of part of the Salarian school, but I'd be see if there was some magic used in the room recently. Can I roll mysticism? I mean, is that a thing? I'm just talking bullshit. You are better suited to it than I am, certainly. <laughs> Uh, do you have anything that would let you detect magic, such as the spell detect magic? No. No, so just what would you So you'd be looking to see if this wet water is magical? Yes. Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'll try. Uh, I'll do the mysticism thing. Mm -hmm. Mysticism? So, uh, how does this look probably, when Lyco is looking at you? Probably just go on one knee, put my horn in the the bar, and uh, close my eyes and hope for the best because I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I squint at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's probably the quietest the cat's been and, in a long time. Try and feel magic. So stellar energies. <laughs> try and use your knowledge of mystical bullshit, as you put it. And stellar energies. Stellar energies yep. <laughs> and, um, start, yeah. With your hand in the water, and assume you're like almost like you know superhero posing it down on one knee, <laughs> and your hand starts to like tingle ever so slightly, um, at first, and then do you try and focus more on it like maybe push your hand in deeper or do you pull your hand back or do you I would focus on it for yeah. sure I don't know what I'm dead so that's going to be a low idea. <laughs> I'm sorry man <laughs> so you put your hand in a bit deeper and you obviously like push on with my system. do you want to give me a roll okay oh, oh my fucking my, my sensitivity is through the roof that's terrible <laughs> Obviously, you kind of like try and focus in on this, this feeling. And it's almost like so. If you imagine your hand kind of splayed out in the water, right? And then imagine as if something's see like the same sensation as as, as like dragging a nail across your palm, uh, like that kind of tingle, but like as if there's like maybe three, four, or five of them, and there's it's almost like electrical, like buzzing from like your palm up to your fingertips. As if it's pulsing through your hand. That's not creepy. I don't know if I've got the odds to pull my heart it. I don't know either. Only, only you would know that. Only no, you. I am fearless. So <laughs> Come with my, my tropes. Uh, <laughs> I love in a society. Um, I don't know why I said So it's been very, like, this has been a good few minutes. He's been sat with his hand in the water and he puts his hand slightly deeper and, like, furrows his ocular ridges more. What do you do, Lyco? I alternate between looking mildly concerned at the captain and uh, sort of keeping an eye out down the hallway. Okay. 
yeah, the hallway's completely empty except for those two people that are clearly your teammates. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, the... What's the situation, Zora? What's happening? What are you doing? It's a bit harder. Cool. And I would just play... So... I don't know. Let's slow that down a bit, shall we? Oh, okay. You go to pull your hand out, and you can't. Oh. And then... There is what can only be described as a pulse of shadows mm. that splashes out of the water. Okay. Grabs onto Zora and then pulls you under the water and starts to drown you. This is when I wish I discussed with you mad about this double <laughs> the breathing thing, right? That's <laughs> why I had to bite my tongue during that entire discussion. Um, however, however, that is fade away from maybe Lyco's reaction of holy fuck <laughs> <laughs> since there seems to be a ring situation happening it's a wormhole situation don't lie to me I much prefer the book um, definitely what a wormhole looks like so <laughs> meanwhile we have Zig coughing and splurting trying to catch his breath having just <coughs> fallen through some kind of white, white pond Um dragged by some <coughs> weird watery ghost creature and uh, Zig you kind of come to you look up and you see if you even remember going to the lower spire like you look around it's the white space room and mm -hmm. there's the pond that you looked into before there's like what looks like the vague kind of definition of a path on the ground between that and a tree um under the tree is sat Query, who's handing an apple to Nix5. Nix5 seems to be all oh, this kind of strange white kind of... Again, it looks like he's made of what the room's made of. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so, Nix5, you yes. obviously are being handed this apple by Query. You turn around and obviously, I assume you regard the fact that there's a zig in the room. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. What do we see? Oh, sorry. What was that? I was saying, so you obviously, you, your, your scene for you was, you yep. walk around the tree, you saw Cleary down there, he takes a bit yes. of the apple, hands it to you, and says something like, we need to talk. And then... Uh, yeah, Yen, at that moment, Zig pops out of a pond as if he's been thrown and uh, <laughs> lands, coughs a bit, looks up, and then maybe as he looks up at you, you look down at him. Zig. I, I think you so, get as soon as you speak, I think, Zig, that's when you realise it is Nix5. Like, you're kind of. You're, it's almost confirmed to you, because it didn't look okay. like Nix5. Given that he's all this weird white mm. gloop. And then next time um, I asked you, how did you get here? I think Zig looks around and um, looks up at next five and kind of goes closer to him uh, and query uh, and just like, how did you get here? Oh. Deflection, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know how you got here, do you, Zig? Well, no. Hmm. But I was following the voice. What voice? I think. At, I think at that part, like, Query stands up, takes the apple from your hand, and just takes another bite out of it. I'm just kind of staring at Zig. Did you not hear it in the... in the... and I think he's trying to re kind of shake some of the haziness from his head, trying to remember where he was. Um, um, and he was uh, from the, the... the castle palace place. I think Zig's kind of remembering it more complete in his head. 
just now, um, as opposed to the you know the sort of dishevelled can uh, palace land of the Dry Queen. Mm-hmm. Um, nurse, she was calling me. And then you jumped in the pond. There wasn't pond. There was there was a woman. There was a, uh, and he's like still trying to like, and he's still like looking as if he's struggling to remember, scratching the back of his head, and he was got his eyes kind of scrunched up. I think there was the there was the corridor, and then. The woman in here. Where is here? Who's that posed to? Sorry, that was too query. I'm I'm only hearing some of what you're saying, that's all. I've lost. You broke out a bit there. Yep. I guess it was the query, is what it was. Uh, yeah, to query. Is yeah. that coming through? Yeah, no, yeah. I got you. Yeah. 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 Perfect. So query kind of like raises an eyebrow at Zig, and then kind of just turns that round while staring at uh, next five. And he just takes another bite of the apple. And he says... Kind of like looks around at that, taking in your question. And he says... Would it make a difference? If you knew where it was, isn't the real question, how do you get back to where you were? That's assuming I want to go back. And he, he clicks his fingers and points them at you. Very reminiscent of what Alice would do. Um, mm-hmm. Which is very reminiscent of what Colin would do. And, uh, or Lyle, I should views. say. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of character overlap there. And uh, like while he's biting an apple again, and, he, and he, after he kind of swallows the the mouthful of apple, he says, "So where do you want to go?" Where I need to go. Uh, I think he kind of chokes on a piece of apple. When you say that, um, and he kind of like composes himself, and then I think he hands the apple down to Zig. I think Zig sniffs it and takes a bite. Like when you take when you take the apple, it's like unbitten. Oh, yeah. Even Bill. And uh, way better. <laughs> he looks up uh, at Unix Five, and he says. Should get that. Yeah, we should go. talk. Yes. There is, um, I'm not direct by nature. I've noticed. He kind of nods with like kind of a tight-lipped look on his face, and he says, "Walk with me, Zig. You can come too." Okay, stands up, motions down to Zig, yeah. And then, I think he walks yeah. kind of pretty close to Query. Okay, yeah. I, mean, I think he's feeling like oddly comfortable. Yeah, and then um, you just walk for like indeterminate amount of time to the point where it feels like you were always sat down in these white kind of sofas. Um, <laughs> even to the point where you're maybe not even sure how you sat, like when you chose to sit down. Um, but he's he's sat there on one side, and you two are like across a white kind of square rectangle type scenario that looks like a coffee table, and then you're at the other side of it, and he's kind of leaning forward, like with his kind of like hands clasped under his chin, and he says, "How much do you know about me?" As much as you told me. Which is very little, I imagine. Yes. And he's kind of smirking at that. He's you seem to know a lot about me. 
he laughs at that. <laughs> he's like, well, and he kind of runs a hand through like his hair, um, down the back of his head, and he kind of like scratches the back of his own head, and he's like, to a point, yes, we have since diverged, and he motions to your kind of weird white gloop form. I wish. I never got that. I said diverged from what? From me. And then he says, and he kind of puts like a hand up because he realizes you're definitely going to ask more questions. And he puts a hand up and goes, let me start from a beginning. And he kind of leans forward again. And then, like the coffee table in front kind of starts to show like the packed solar system. And it looks ever so slightly different to a what you're used to. Um, for example, Galarian is on his, and he uh, he says, "I'm one version of you. I am an exile from my own." universe, for lack of a more eloquent way to put it. If everything was a mirror and was smashed to make individual mirrors, I am one shard. You are from another. But it's all the same reflection. And he looks at you as if, does this make sense? Nick's not slowly. Mm. There would be the, the blink of the LED eyes if they were mm -hmm. you know, discernible in the white form, the strange mannequin form. And he kind of looks at you as well, Zig, when he's asking that question, because you are both sat on the couch yeah. next to each other. Zig definitely cocks his head to one side, probably one eyebrow raised, kind of not getting it, but I think it, like, thinking he's got some of it. <laughs> I think it, it, like, he notices that and he, he says think of it this way Zig. you're standing in front of a mirror you see yourself but not quite you an inverse you, yes? Mm. but it's close enough for you to make a judgement call and he smirks at that ok, yeah yeah now you punch the mirror and it breaks ow if you look down at the pieces, there isn't just one zig anymore. And he's kind of just looking at you. And zig kind of his eyes look up and he sort of starts to nod a bit. Um, so, I am one shard of a broken mirror. And he motions to next five. He is another. We are from the same mirror. And he's still looking at you, like as if... Do you get it? It makes sense. Oh, he kind of like nods yeah. slowly. Mm -hmm. It's like... Just okay. a shard. So, we are reflections of the same idea. Sadly, my shard no longer exists. This is why I am here. And emotions are owned to the white space. This would be the floor where the shards lie, for lack of a better term. And he just sits there. If, if a shard can no longer exist, does that mean Nyx? The same thing that can happen to Nyx? And he's like, the facial expression he's got is, I think you're starting to get it, right? However, that translates in facial expression language, which probably just his eyebrows raise. And I kind of mm -hmm. nods slightly to you. I think at that Zig kind of slowly looks up towards Nyx. Yeah, and what's like, 
what do we see going through, or like, what is Nix's demeanor, if you will, besides white? <laughs> um, I mean, if he was a bit more emotive, he'd be kind of head cocked, kind of thinking about mm -hmm. everything this means. Um, I think he's fairly static, as is. Yeah, and I think like once Zig stops asking those questions as well, I think that's when Cray will see. So next five questions. Why were you exiled? He smirks at that. He says, "I exiled myself. It was that or face oblivion." Oblivion from what? My mistake. Which was? We ran. And he's just, he's like dead staring you the whole time. Ran from what? What you need to do now to save your shard. Will you tell me what that is? What do you know so far? If you had to have a guess at what dooms your worlds. I'm assuming it's Ergolas. Uh, um, or the Void Egg. He kind of like leans back on the kind of couch and kind of like slowly nods. And he's like, The entity wasn't known as Ergolas from my shard, but it was a long forgotten Elibrian. Yes? Yes. I kind of know what's. And he says, Me and my friends. And he kind of lingers on the word friends. You can clearly tell this is quite painful for him. Um, mm -hmm. There's possibly a mixture of shame and anger in there. He says, We eventually worked out what we were supposed to do. Very late. And we rushed in. We were played. We were to stop our Urgolas. Our Elibrian. Their plan was to undo what destroyed its world. And it did undo it. It undid everything. How did it undo everything? Would knowing that help it come back? No. I'll tell you what I was supposed to do and what I didn't. Our Elibrian. And he kind of like, again, he's lingering on things as if remembering it is sore. He says, We travelled to the Sleeping Titan. We got there. We <laughs> fought the Elibrian. And then we realised how late we were. They had already begun the ritual to wake up the titan and we had the chance a very brief chance and he's kind of like looking off into like nothingness because it's obviously white you can see with like no definition of distance we we could have sealed it again and he kind of just stops there still looking away. What's the sleeping titan? <laughs> and I kind of like slowly kind of like shakes his head as if dismissing whatever he was thinking about and turns back around. For us, an ancient thing. Old, big, unknowable. It had some power beyond any of us probably beyond any of you and your friends, and he like nods to Zig. The Titan, when it woke up, 
rewound things. Time played backwards. Started looping on itself, playing on top of itself, undoing itself. Sure, the Librian got his homeworld back for but a moment. And then, gone. Like the rock that made the planet never collided. How did you get over here? He kind of just like sits like forward and looks down and just exhales quite like heavily, like and like breathes in through his nose. And he's like, as I said, I ran. I. And he kind of pauses on that and again looks like he's half lost in his own thoughts and he says We were supposed to seal it back so it couldn't wake But that meant giving up us To seal it No more me No more Alice No more Zig Are we getting the picture? <laughs> oh, I think so. I think his hair's standing on, on end, and he's kind of... We needed to... Just, like... Seal... No, so okay. ...the creature... ...with what we had. Which was... ...us. And he kind of, like shrugs at that, like he's not even sure he understands. And he says, Instead, I used that energy to punch a hole here. And he kind of just like smirks at it, like it seems farcical to him. He's like, didn't know here was a thing. But I know I wanted out. Evolving, going forward. That was my path. I didn't want it to end. That was my mistake. It cannot be your mistake. What happens if we lose more shards? Who are we at the end of the day? He's kind of just, just like giving you like a kind of serious look again. What's the next five done? Vaguely rocking backwards and forwards amongst the white goop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. What was Zig? Does Zig respond to this? Because obviously, like, Query's just staring straight at Nyx. Nyx obviously rocking back and forth. Probably pondering everything that's just been said. Mm. What about Zig? I think Zig would stand up, walk um, away from Query, kind of touch Nyx on the arm uh, I th I think he would say it won't happen here it can't happen here you may be a shard but Nyx is more and then just walk away uh -huh. I think like as you say that uh -huh. like you start walking away into like again white space and a query says that's what I'm counting on. He needs to be more. More than I was. How do I become more? I don't think Nick's. Uh, not Nick's. Zig, Zig is like. 
Listening yeah, like within your shot at you're that just point. Walking yeah. off into the white space, yeah. Yeah, so I think you you do you walk away and you walk like off in the distance, and they, you ask how do I become more, and Cree uh, motions to you and says, "I think you're already on that path." It seems. You asked me. Essentially, what's next? I think you get to pick that. I'm stuck here in the meantime. This is my punishment for what I did. How do I release you? Would that you could. I don't think you should. I don't think you should. And even if you could, I don't think I deserve it. Me telling you feels like I'm breaking some kind of cosmic rule, but I don't want to see another one of me fail his friends. I think that's the sort of reason that it's okay to break rules. Hmm. I think like with that he kind of like again leans back as if you know you're kind of being complimentary to him so he wasn't really expecting somebody to be nice to him after confessing <laughs> he fucked up a universe and uh, he sits back a bit in the couch and he's like got a hand on his like forehead and he's kind of like rubbing it back on the forehead and he says, you can leave here anytime you want. You're not really here. It's just that we share the same reflection. Can I come back here? And he kind of just stares at like, the coffee table. And he says, I think so. I got here. You've been here twice now, at least. I hope to see you again. <laughs> and he's, like, his huh there seems to have caught him off guard. Like, it's, <laughs> you know, again, the idea that he's confessing his sins to himself. He didn't expect them to be like, cool, uh, you seem like you're good enough to rescue, and <laughs> I hope I see you again, mate. Like, he was definitely not expecting somebody to be as nice to him. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. He kind of just goes, huh. Would that I could. And I think with that, like, there's a... Again, a blurring of white. Uh, in that. Um, Zig. Are you still with us, or are you wandering off? Yes. Okay. Yes, no, I'm wandering off. I mean, Zig's wandered off, but I'm, yeah. I'm still... So, you wander off through the kind of white space, and uh, are you going anywhere in particular? I know that's a weird question to no, ask where you are. I think was it just a way? It was just a way because I think, kind of, he was kind of not not annoyed, but kind of you know, he has this obviously opinion of of Nick's. Mm -hmm. And to think that he's just like a small piece of a of a of a bigger thing is nonsense. He's his own individual thing. He's not just a reflection of a reflection of the reflection of something. Mm -hmm. um, so he was kind of just a little bit pissed, but not overly annoyed, and he just didn't want to hear what. Yeah, some strange guy in a say. weird place told you your friend was less than what you thought he was. So yeah. Yes. So he just walked away. Yeah, um, as you're walking as well, I I think eventually like the ground that you're walking on feels different. As you're walking forward, it starts to become like cold stone. Okay. And then um, um. you find yourself like kind of walking into what seems like a kitchen. I think um. Not the kitchen. Not the kitchen. He would 
kind of stop and look around. I think as you do, um, like the the place starts to become less like that bright white light and more kind of like defined mm. and cold stonework everywhere. Um, like again, like strange, neat, like kind of fluorescent fungi on the walls, and then there was like a loud kind of clattering bang noise from the right hand side of the room. Maybe startles you a bit. Yeah, I think it would definitely look over as well, just like straight away. That's yeah. where the noise comes from. Is there any noise made by Zig when like there's like a kind of clash very suddenly in this like Probably studio? Probably nothing room. more than like a... <gasps> mm -hmm. And I think yeah. with that, over like what seems to be again like a table in the middle of the room, the drag queen's head pops up. And then she's got like something like stuck in her mouth. And she like, she's on like her hands and her knees in a cupboard, essentially. And she like, looks up, takes the thing out of her mouth, like a wooden spoon or some shit. And then she, uh, she says, Sig! And she smiles. I think Sig would like look behind him and then look back at him. Yeah, um, there's just a corridor. I think doing like a, yeah. I think doing like a full circle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it seems like you're back in the, the palace. Yeah. And um, he looks looks back at the queen's like, yes, your your majesty. She like does that thing where she's like, mm, yeah, good enough, you know, but doesn't say anything. Um, Can I help you? Um, she looks confused as she says that because it's probably one of the first things, first time she's probably ever had to say that. Okay. I think Zig would look at her um, and then look at kind of what she's been doing and be like, can I help you? Do you have any alcohol? That's a very good question. <laughs> Let me check my inventory. Yeah, like She stands up and dusts herself off and then, yeah, waits to see you like rake your um, pockets again. <laughs> If only you kept a hip uh, flask in your cheek. I should. But then it would be a cheek um, flask. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I don't think so. He's got medicinals, but that's not really alcohol. <laughs> well, it could contain alcohol. I mean, you could have a go to make it give you some kind of a high if you wanted. Yeah. I don't um, know if you want to start shooting up in the kitchen with the drug <laughs> queen. <laughs> it's a very different direction I thought this was going to take, quite frankly. I think, I think, I think, I think you would ask, um, like, drink, drinking alcohol or... or As opposed to what? Rubbing alcohol? alcohol? And she kind of gestures yeah. out to the side. I have been imprisoned for a long time. I have come to my home. And all my alcohol has dried up. And she's saying that slightly oh. manically. And I oh. would like a drink that isn't mm. rain water. And she gestures to like a hole in the sky. Or a hole in the roof of the, you know, kitchen. A hole in the sky is much mm. more dangerous. Yep. <laughs> That's end game territory. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Watch over. I don't have anything to drink on me, but I'm sure somebody must. Uh, must we? That's not all I can use. Do you? <laughs> I mean, there might be some on the ship, but that's on the ship. She kind of nods slowly, like you're just saying that no. there is a possibility that you'll get her to alcohol at some point. Not particularly helpful now, I guess. Um, no, but at least you're hopeful, and that's very useful. And she nods at you, and she she walks closer to close the distance, but she's doing it in a way that. She's not slow on her feet, obviously, but she's aware that she doesn't want to startle you with how quick she's going to move. Uh -huh. So yeah, she approaches briskly. What do you like? What was Zig's reaction, if any? I think. Do you know what I think? Like, if she like, you know, kind of like, 
um, as she took like her first step, he would flinch a little bit. Mm -hmm. But and she will definitely I'm react to your good. reactions as well. Like she wouldn't just yeah, he would flinch a little bit, but um, not but not really do anything as she walks towards. Oh. Just kind of. Look yeah, like, as soon as you flinch, she will like stop her advance. But as soon as you look like you're relaxing, she'll like continue again. Um, yeah, and like that moment takes maybe like a second or two, and then she just goes up and scratches behind your ear. Oh, like, involuntarily closes his eyes and you know kind of nudges his head into the scratch. <laughs> Snaps her oh. neck and says, "One down, three to go." Nah, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so scratch behind your neck, uh, behind your ear, sorry, not behind your neck, and uh, behind your ear, yes. and uh, she says, where is everybody else? I was just going to ask you that. Um, I'm unsure. It's like, well, where did you come from? Weren't you with them? Um, the audience laugh, obviously. Ha 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 ha. They scream. That's... <laughs> that's uh, mm, where is more complicated than I'd like to admit? And she kind of like leans down Such and like puts her head, puts her, her arms on her, her knees and she's like, I forget you're not as familiar with the layout of the palace as I am. <laughs> and she just smiles at you. She's like, can you describe the room you were last in? Um, I guess... Obviously, she just thinks you're lost in the palace. Yes, um... I guess where is uh, isn't really as important as when I was, and um, then you can see I that she's trying then... to think and keep a like a smiling face at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I was because then I was then, and then I ended up somewhere else. I don't know when that was, uh, and now I'm here now. Okay. <laughs> she looks at you. I was here. Well, I, I was there. <laughs> and she goes. She, kinda, like, she puts like her hands <laughs> on your shoulders. Um, she kind of just like kind of grips ever so slightly. And she says, "Do you want to come and get some fresh air with me?" I think Zig like sighs, and his whole body just like kind of. Uh, his like whole body just sort of relaxes completely, because mm -hmm. um, he's using. He, it's, he just a, it's quite like a massaging touch as well. Do you know what I mean she's got? She's trying to like comfort yeah. in a way because she you seem distressed. <laughs> mm. I think he just yeah. I think he would just nod. And, uh, mm. Let's go yes. outside again, and she kind of just nods at you, and then she starts leading you out. So you're in that you're in the kitchen where he's obviously mutilated a T Rex. Um, and she takes you back into like the dining room, past the golden egg thing, and out through that kind of entrance way into the kind of jungle. Mm -hmm. Head with her, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So you head there, uh, and then when you get outside, obviously it's sunlight, heat, um, that kind of again maybe uncomfortable memory. Right from the humidity and the the clinging heat that maybe reminds uh -huh. you of the vault, but obviously it's very bright in, in, by comparison. Um, so maybe there's like a clash yeah, of that that hits you. Yeah, I think you know you'd probably feel the heat before you're outside. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would make him just a bit. Yeah, because you'd still be in that but tunnel as as... climbing outside. Yeah, so it'd be yeah the the dank kind of tunnel okay. where then the the heat would hit you. Yeah, and that would totally remind you of the vault until the you walked out into the light. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the the light would kind of just relax him completely, like feeling the the sort of feeling of daylight upon like on him would mm -hmm. just and you take like a deep breath and just sigh and let all the tension sort of just release. And you hear like a snapping <clears throat> of a branch. Um, Zig would kind of jump and look towards the branch and sort of uh, I don't want to say ready to pounce because he's not, not going to pounce but like in a sort of guarded yeah and uh, it's just the, the queens went over to like a tree snapped off a branch like a thin branch uh, and then 
stuck it into the ground. Just so it's like a pole sticking out. And she motions for you to come over. Um, yeah, it's a good scurry over. Uh, like, dropped all fours, scurry, scurry over and stand up at it. And then she draws, like, symbols around the outside of it. Um, do I, like, recognise any of the symbols, or are they just... Do you speak ancient draw? I don't speak ancient draw. Okay, do you speak draw? I do. Yeah. Do you want to roll culture? We'll see. Sure. Get that fucking culture sure. rolled, boy. Get that culture roll out there. <laughs> it, yeah, some, sure. Some of them don't look familiar, but the majority of them look like numbers. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And then <laughs> she, uh, she, she sees you stealing them. And then obviously she steps to the side and then the sunlight hits it, her shadow that was cast over it as a way. And she says, so... This means this is what time it is. And she points to where the shadow from the stick is hitting. The sigil. She drew. <laughs> ah. Ah. We had a fucking sundial. Yeah. <laughs> it's and I, I think I think he was like, ah. Oh. I think there might have been like one like for ornamental reasons in one of the... Oh, 100%, yeah. In the solar temple? Yeah. And, and, yeah, and you'd go like, ah, oh, it, it looks just like the, the one from home. She says, we use this to tell time. And then she looks at you really seriously and goes, when we are. And nods. <sighs> okay, and I think, I think, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of Look at it, look up at her and be like, yes, this, yeah, th that's true, but time doesn't seem to be flowing correctly for me. Okay. And then she uh, says, I've shown you this, may you show me something? What what do you what do you want to see? Draw your numbers. I think what Zig would do is run, run away. Um, I think what he'd do if he if you look at the sundial, um, he would like point at the time we're at for mm -hmm. argument's sake. Um, and go, right, we are then. Mm -hmm. For me, time seems to be going, and then he would, like, draw an arrow going the wrong way, mm -hmm. anti-clockwise, or, mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't yeah. know way the, the that, sun that, moved that's okay, this yep. place. <laughs> um, and then draw a dot somewhere else on the clock, and then draw another arrow, um skipping oh. over the, the first dots over to the <laughs> to like a different point mm -hmm. on the thingy going the correct way in time uh, and then just keep adding like circles and arrows and stuff and she stands up and she looks at it and she says not quite what i was expecting but not unwelcome and then she kind of lean, kneels back down again as if studying it and uh, she takes a good couple of minutes looking at it, and then like she's like tracing her fingers like from her sigils down to when it hits like your annotations, and she like seems to follow the annotations, and then she stands back up, and she says, "I think I get it," <laughs> and then she says, "You." You don't walk forward. You are not an acorn falling from a branch to the ground, like me. You are a leaf blown clear from the tree by the wind. I think Zig's eyes would sort of widen and he'd go, 
Yes. And he would kind of look around at the trees. And then, like, she smirks at that, and then, obviously, through the wonderful jungle winds, she catches a leaf, because she's so fucking ninja. And she says, and you landed at me. And then she tucks the leaf in your ear. I think it's a good smile at that. And look at her and say, yes, I suppose I had to. And she looks at you and goes, had to? You make it seem so formal. What I love though is <laughs> if there was a cut, like a split screen of this, you've got Zora being drowned <laughs> in the split screen. <laughs> <laughs> Lyco leaning against the wall, like, I should probably help, but I'd get away. Hey. I'm kidding. Um, we'll cut back to you guys in a second, don't worry. <laughs> I will not endure this slander. But then she says, Why so, why so formal? To use like, Why so why are you so serious? Um, son. Right. <gasps> son. Um. <laughs> <laughs> son like or no son. son. <laughs> um. I think. I think. Yeah. I think he would look up at her and say, "I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't mean." To be too formal. I suppose I was supposed to, maybe. Does that make sense? And then he'd kind of like look around and try and think of like words to construct a sentence. Well, there's a first for everything. And she kind of looks at you and she kind of just laughs like out loud to the point where like, you know, birds leave trees and such in the distance. That's just a big belly laugh from her. And she's like, We should try something simpler. Chalk's kind of like a step back so that she's both of these are facing the sundial. This is number one. She points to her sigil. Okay. And she just looks at you. Okay, number one. And then she motions. So in your language, that is... I think Zig blinks. I think she blinks. And Zig looks at her and point points the, the sigil and says, One. But in your language, what is one? I don't know what is one in my language. Juan? So, like, for example, in the Soki. Like, I'm confused. Sorry. I, I, Callum's confused now. Okay. So she's, like, literally that's what she's asking. Maybe this is just Zig being confused, though. So, she said what number one is in her ancient drawing. Right. Okay. So she's pointed at the okay. situation. Oh, okay. Okay. So, he would so just she's say... asking you, what's that in your language? He would, I guess he would just say one. In his language. In my language. Okay, good. That's the part I was needing Un. that you're speaking in, like, Isoki. Cool. I'll speak in Isoki. Un. Okay. So is Isoki just French now? Is that what we're going with here? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Nah, no, we'll go in. We'll go in. And then... No. She smiles. She goes, okay. This is two. And I think we fade. Yeah. At that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so we fade out there. Uh, I think we go back to Nix 5. So yes. you, you were sat across from Query. He's had that 
lasting exchange. I, things start to fade to white and you're in this strange I guess chrysalis is the best way to put it, metamorphosis state, right? Yes. So what does Nix Five do in this like transitive state? So I think he's um you know, somewhat reflecting on what has been said to him mm -hmm. um about how messed up everything was on the other side. Yeah, right. <laughs> um And while, you know, he's he feels bad for a query and the circumstances that have emerged for him. But there's also that rational part of him that thinks, yeah, Query's method didn't work. Mm -hmm. Don't follow Query's path. Yeah, um, don't run away from responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think he's then thinking on, yeah, you know, who embodies the different, who embodies that for him. You know, think back to the time. Kind of post Akaton, between Akaton and yeah, mm -hmm. the work that he was doing with Lyco, what we would call his tempered pilgrim phase. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Uh, so where he I kind like of it. yeah, he he travelled around a bit. Um, I'd I'd say kind of learning new cultures, obviously learning new languages, um, and learning the technology from them. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think at some point he will have spent time, particularly because the tempered pilgrim, as an idea, is is kind of typified by the Kasathans. Right. Okay. Um, and I think for him they kind of are the model of, you know, the. I guess the kind of the wardens. And yeah, you know, they've got this sense of honor and a sense of strength. Yeah, like almost um, like kind of resolution of mind and body and like yes. discipline and yeah, like especially since they're like one of the more ancient kind of races that way. Yeah, as well. and particularly because they've got the idea of uh, what is it, the cycle, mm -hmm. um, which I think Nix Five has kind of variously meshed with the typical Android beliefs in Triune mm -hmm. to be like the the one and the cycle are the same thing, just from different perspectives. Yeah. So I think he's always, you know, that's kind of quite central to his probably quite anachronistic religious beliefs. And it's not a million um, miles away from what Query does. Syncretic. As well. Syncretic, right. thank you. What yes. For? Yes. Syncretic. <laughs> Sometimes it is good to have me. <laughs> <laughs> have we I ever knew, said it was bad to have you? I was actually just about to Google what that word is because it just left my head. Yeah. But yes, no, it is. Um, uh, you know, so he's kind of like, I think, considering how to be more like that. Yeah, um, how to embody them more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of merging the kind of android... Uh, what do I want to say? The unique features of the androids in terms of they almost in themselves embody the cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more so than anyone else in the way that they regenerate. Yeah, it seems uh, as I said, like reset. your beliefs here you're explaining as well, and like your comparisons to like the Kasathas as well is not a million miles away from obviously, as I said, what Query was saying about you are the same reflection of something else, right? Yeah. Like it, it is, for lack of a better holistic term, it's all connected, you know? Yep. It is getting very new agey here. <laughs> I actually get the feeling that Nix Five is very New Agey, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, um, New Agey for a like religious, tech-headed android wizard. Yeah, I think you're okay to say New Age here, Colin. Yeah, like, this qualifies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then <laughs> say it by show. Because he has always been on that side of you know, seeing the divine in the invention. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a there's actually quite a lot of woo in his. Mm -hmm. Scientific oh, mind. I like the use of the word "woo." Oh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I think he's kind of draws on that imagery. Um, 
and also I guess on his thinking back to when he's been the most able to support his teammates, which I think is the picture kind of that that flashing shots of you know him standing next to us at the dragon kin mm-hmm. um and just standing in front of him going come on then mm-hmm. yeah you can't you can't do any damage to me yeah um, like actually yeah. like being there for your team um yes like feeling like part of a greater unit maybe as well um and also being a massive tank that does not run away yep. yes exactly he right. was the last one to stand down over SK's body mm-hmm. you don't afraid of anything Yes. Especially not ghosts. So. <laughs> so yes, kind of those two images being merged together. Yeah, no, I like it. Um, and I think as well, like we have this scene of you almost like in a kind of weightlessness kind of environment because obviously all the kind of mm. forms have vanished from the kind of white space. And like you kind of look down at your hands and uh, like the kind of peeling away, if you will, of the kind of the, the white to reveal this form you've chosen mm. yes and we have the the weight of gravity grab you and that like, you hit the stone steps beneath you um, and you're on the ground and like you put out your hands to brace yourself and you've got like your your left hand goes out in front of you to brace yourself and then your other left hand goes out <laughs> to brace yourself yep I think we have that shot of you just like the camera clicks away from your POV to looking back at you and it's your suit of armor standing on the stairs, still with its, you know, two armed form lying open, and as if you fell forward out of it. And obviously, what's fell forward is some kind of four armed version of a Kasathan looking android. Um, mm-hmm. What color scheme are we seeing through the androidness of it all? Um, is it still the white from the query, or is it something else now? I'm picturing uh, quite a change, actually. Almost to be the mirror image. Um, it's kind of black and gold. Okay. Yeah. Um, so even though he is far more elegant in terms of the Kasathan design, he actually, if anything, looks less organic in the colouring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like clearly android, less so... Humany, basically. yes, yeah, more mechanical. But, yeah, but at the same time, less mechanical in form. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense. Clearly Fewer looking, LED strips and things. Yeah, like yeah. It looks more like an actual form of a person with four arms instead of clearly robot parts. Yeah, but yeah, not organic looking. I guess yes, is what you mean. Yeah. That makes mm. sense to me, at least, yeah. Um, so I have that shot of you kind of looking at like your kind of new form. Um, and then I think we cut from you. And we go straight back to uh, Zora and Lyco. So, um, <coughs> Zora, you're being drowned. What do you want to do? <coughs> Try and get out. Struggle. Okay. Get up. Out of the pond. Okay, so <laughs> you try and like pull away, but again, something in the water seems to be holding on to you. Uh, as if it's kind of bear hugging you underneath it. Michael, okay. what about yourself as well? I have a feeling this is a bad idea, but I do the thing uh, that that is the most obvious, and uh, and which I think would be what Michael would do, which is I go and try and heave him out of the water. <laughs> yep. So you go in. And appreciate your dedication, soldier. Yeah, you, you try and pull him out of the water. So you want to roll? But I think you're helping him get out of the water, right? Right. So, I'm so a you need to roll to, to get what is it? A plus two? Is it? What do? I, what is it? I roll for that to determine if I get plus. the athletics, right? To help him. Athletics. Okay. So ten. I'm pretty that's, athletic if that happens. Yeah. That that that, <laughs> like, that gets him. Up. I'm sure. It, Alex, there's a plus two, right? For what? Sorry? Helping someone with a roll. If you get um, over ten, I'm sure if you get over ten, it's like a plus two. 
You, okay. knowledge droid. It's a plus two. If it isn't, it oh, is just now, unless we can find it. And then I think that sounds about right. It's certain, it wouldn't be much more than that, I wouldn't think. Zora, do you want to give us a athletics? <laughs> and then, uh, boink. Right, and obviously we add two to that, a 28. So yeah, you don't really have anything to fight against. Like, you can clearly feel something grip you under the water. But when you're like pulling away and you've got Lyco grabbing onto like your arm and stuff and like your arm's trying to clasp but whatever is like wrapped around your like your neck and yeah like he's just kind of pawing at you. Yeah it's plus so two. It, yeah cool. So it is a 20 that would be. Um, but like yeah so Lyco you're he kind of looks like he's being awkward now, like when a kid doesn't want to come out of a swimming pool. Like, <laughs> it's like that as if he's <laughs> being dead weight. <laughs> because you can't see anything grab him. The 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 water's just murky and dark. But when you I think it, I have caught in on to the fact that there is something more to the water than just water though, so it definitely seems that way, yes. Um because obviously what happened with mm -hmm. So yeah. So is and I'm so I'm not really getting anywhere with it. Like again, you're struggling to even like get a grip of Zora. Right. Um, okay. Because when you do, like, you're trying to grab onto like Zora's arm to help pull him out of the water, but the Zora's trying to like attack something that you can't see. I should do. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look like anything's holding onto Zora. Zora's just okay. literally thrashing in the water. Blah. It's probably like that scene, uh, every scene of somebody trying to wrestle an alligator. Everything does <laughs> Yeah, probably not. Do, I, do I perceive Lyco? Yeah. Try it. Okay. I'll try work with You did? Nothing happened. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I will claw at it. Claw at what? thing that's grabbing at me. Whatever's grabbing at me. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to call it, is yeah. there? I mean... Okay. Then I will get out of the pond. Can't. You're being held <laughs> in the pond by something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, okay. you, you can feel something like... Imagine someone standing behind you with their arm around your waist and their other arm around your neck. Right? Okay. And then okay, okay. they've pulled you back into the water, and you're struggling. So when you go to like reach for the arm around your neck, you're feeling your own neck. You're not feeling the arm. Okay. But uh, it's you can feel the pressure of it, and you're being held underwater. Uh, I have no idea what to do to assist. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that you say that. I'm sorry. I'm out of ideas now. I have no idea what to do either. Um, you can do it, Captain. Um, yeah. Other than... I don't know. I've got no idea. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Significant time for me to hold my breath for like... 18 <laughs> settings and like a tune since I'm in a very dangerous situation. <laughs> yeah, you could say you're in a dangerous situation, yeah. You could definitely a tune. Um. <laughs> As our discussion. <laughs> yeah, nice grab time. it yourself out of this. <laughs> Jump cat away. That's, that's always a good answer. So, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Um, what attunement are we going for? Photon or Leviton? Uh, photon, why okay. not? Because, right. like, I don't really have any flight. I love the idea that like you're pulling in the light from the crack in the ceiling, which is kind of cool. Uh, well, let's get a wee flash, shall we? Just to the sake of it, you know? Like, who knows? I'll be able to reveal something. <laughs> I flash the darkness. It's 
panic, by the way. That's total panic. So you want to flash the darkness? As it were? <laughs> 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 We've got 43 stations in, folks, and we're flashing the darkness. We'll flash the darkness. What effect does flashing the darkness have? Uh, nothing but a review of the darkness. Nothing. Uh, we'll, we'll flare. Uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the full flash, right? We'll, we'll, we'll dazzle. <laughs> we'll just dazzle. flash. So what are the... So well, you can't what? flash a flight, blah, 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 blah. You can create... Force one creature to succeed. All enemies within range. Put that part basically. Is that do I need to be fully attuned for that? I need to do you need to be able to see it or not? That's the thing. I don't know if you do. Uh, when you create a flash of light as a standard action and you're attuned or fully attuned, you can instead choose to make all enemies within range dazzled for one <laughs> round and save. Okay. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So you do that. Yes. And what does dazzle do? Uh, I think it's essentially a stun. Let me double check it. Uh, don't dazzle. Should I put a page number on it? Mm -hmm. Should I put a page number so that I can read through the many, many books? You're unable to see well because of overstimulation of the eyes. You take a minus one penalty to attack rolls and sight based perception checks. Okay, it's probably not going to help me. So, from under the dark water, Lyco, there's just this. <laughs> Like a <laughs> fucking camera flash going off. I'm sorry, but I think what I would have to do is probably drop him and stagger back. <laughs> well, not drop, because I didn't really yeah. have him, but yeah, like, leave go and sort of stagger back. Probably reach for my gun as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it wouldn't necessarily occur to me that the captain would be doing that. Uh-huh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know the captain has Godzilla vibes, so it's fine. <laughs> well, I'm not that shocked, but you never know. Oh, so that's kind of what I go for. <laughs> I need comfort okay. me for a weapon. So a flash. Um, um, let me see here. I'm basically just stalling a supernova. <laughs> so like... <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst idea. Um, so like... So 18 seconds is, what, three rounds? Yeah, yeah. So you're hoping this is work. this works or you drown? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Because I've got no idea what I do, right? I do, do, do. Uh, I, I have. I honestly have no fucking clue. I've tried to get out athletically. Yeah, it's almost like physical prowess won't help you. I've tried to blind the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, uh, let me see here. Hmm. What's that? What's that, boy? What's that? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. This is this is why you don't put me in awful situations. It's not like a day about it. <laughs> you are <laughs> like a Vesk Solarian. Uh Can that little drowning kill you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you just give in you'll probably be fine. <laughs> Others swear. It's true. That's you true. don't know that, however, you know. That's so. true. It's very true. Um, also, the others didn't that go that way. Only, only Zig was like caught off guard. He's by another bookie woman, and then he ended up in the white space. He doesn't even know if it was her that put him there. Like if anything, Zig got over the white space really quickly with the drag queen. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. I'll Sorry. ask. I will calm down. And I will quickly astrological sense. <laughs> so flare was an action, right? So that's a yeah. move action, sorry. Right? Was a as a standard action you create brilliant flash. Yep, so you've done the standard action. Yep, yep. Turn and I'd have ended my turn technically. Right, right okay. So Do you have turns against water? 
I don't know what this kind of like try two. bullshit me getting. Oh, he's got 18 seconds right, of it. Right. It's a, it's, I don't know if I've got 18 seconds of it, or I don't know what actual. Yeah. How long can I even well, read I mean, for? That's so, the 18 seconds. It's probably in the total. book somewhere. So, it probably we're is. at 12 seconds now of air on turn two. Yeah, let me. Let me uh... It's that until you tell me the actual numbers. So Yeah, I'm since, try. I mean, you told actually. me these numbers, so. No, I would say that just why they bullshit the 18 seconds to try to like super nova. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm happy to go with that too, but it does mean if you yeah. fail, you fail. Uh, right, so astrological sense and see if supernova is even a good idea. I will I will think struggling a good idea actually. I will think that's even a point. Basically, yeah, I'm trying to see if. Yeah, I'll do the supernova actually, because that's probably what he's actually thinking. And that's what I was thinking, right? Right. Blah. So Come on. you don't want to do astrological sense? No, I wanted to. Um, and I will think about whether I'll know. I guess I'll try and do this passively in RP because I, don't, I still just technically know that he could even do it properly. Yet. Uh, he would just be thinking hard on what to do. And he's wondering if Supernova will even work. Uh, so how does this work? Do I need to roll in? I need to spend a resolve point to do it. So what's your con score? Uh, my con score is... F2. Score, not... For 14. 14. 14. So that is... 28 and then we're at 26 I believe and that's how many rounds you've got going before you okay, go. so you've got plenty of time okay that's quite a lot so. uh, if a character takes a standard or full action the remaining duration is reduced by one round yeah which is why we're at 26 because Turn one gone and an action gone. Was it twenty six? So cool. I will do the astrological sense and see if supernova is a good idea. I'll spend the resolve point to do. It. Why not? <laughs> right. Let's just see if I'll pointlessly lose all my attunement because that's something, right? <laughs> so you want to? This doesn't burn you out in any way, does it? Uh, no. So it's just a case of, bam, astrological sense, you get the good or bad outcome answer to your question, and then that's it. I need to check it augury. I need to check it augury, because there's probably a roll to it. The other, uh, I kept the page number this time, that's a good thing. It does tell you in the spell as well, or the, the move. I'm going to ask you off, but... Jesus. Yeah, I can tell you So, casting Augury can maybe. tell you whether a particular action will bring good or bad results for you in the melee future. Casting the spell takes intense personal focus and requires you to spend <laughs> one resolve point. The chance for success, sorry, for successfully receiving a meaningful reply is 75%. This roll is made secretly by the GM. A question may be so straightforward that a successful result is automatic. Or it may be so vague that there is no chance of success. If the augury succeeds, you get one of four results. So. D man on R25 or higher, I guess. Is that soon, essentially? So spent, you spent your resolve point, yeah? Yep, spent my resolve point. Cool, let me do my roll. And it's a D100. Do you want it to be the first 25 or crap? Um, it's either or, it doesn't matter. It's like, roll under 75 or roll above 25 on it or something. Yeah. I think. What would you prefer for a hit roll? It's roll under 75. Right, okay, go. so from 76 to 100 is bad for you, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so. 
chances for successfully receiving a meaningful reply is 75% of the trolls made secret by the GN. Uh, question may be so straightforward that a successful result is automatic. Uh, if the augury succeeds, you get one of the four results. Okay. If the augury isn't successful, you get the nothing result. Spellcaster gets nothing. Result has no way to tell if it's the, from a successful or failed consequence. Augury can see about 30 minutes into the future. I don't think we're at risk of expiring on the tw 30 minutes. Friend, no result. Blah, 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 blah. Right, okay, cool. And your question, right? Your action is is supernova a good idea? Or yes, what? yes, yeah, 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 very much. Specifically to see if you're ass in the current situation, not just general. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Whoever answers this is idea. probably like, yeah, supernovas, bitch. They may do it whenever you can. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was So the photo is always a good idea. I mean, uh, out of the four results possible, you get nothing. Okay. So that means I won't do nothing for me. So the options obviously are wheel, woe, wheel and woe, or nothing. And you get one of those as of a success. But you so it's going to do nothing for me, so that's kind of what I do But you can also get nothing if you fail the roll. You just don't know mm. if it's uh, a okay. successfully nothing or if it's a failed nothing. Or if it gets a ability. That still doesn't tell me I even have this ability, by the way. Nope. I'm just going to hope that Basically, you're like... just. <laughs> maybe in your head, maybe your automatic thing to go is you've flashed and you think no, it needs to be, it needs to be hot. It's the same with the mysticism as well. Was I don't know if mm -hmm. I was actually feeling it mystic mystically or something was just feeling me. Yeah, right. right. No, it's, like... <laughs> it's maybe worth exploring that say as well, though. Right. So you've it's got like this, fucking hell, man. Like, you're you've got this. Today, so. so you flash this thing and then you start to think, okay, it needs to be hotter. Oh, is that a good idea? And obviously, by the time you're being choked out, it's not really something you can really think about, right? Um. So we all know that. I think as well, what I'm going to do is because you're actually being attacked underwater as well, I'm thinking I'm going to take it down an extra one every turn as well. So you're actually at 25, because I think that makes more sense that doing an action and being choked out and taking well, um, time. Well, I'm all ideas. So I think you're, at, you're now at 23 at the end of turn two. In fact, I'm just going to sip on over just in case it was nothing. Maybe I'll blow up the pool, right? That'll be something. Yeah, Stop. that makes sense. Does Lyco do anything that, like, obviously he's always thrashing in the water, like, and then stops all of a sudden? Uh, I think Lyco's probably going to bolt and see if he can find the Queen, because at this point his stick-together strategy has backfired massively. Um, it's abandoned me. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I am. <laughs> I am the captain. Cast, cast, cast augury he's again. He's figured out that whatever happened with Zek has happened to you. So he knows that it's not just you are disappearing. He knows something has happened. Uh, and he can't seem to help you out. And as far as he could tell, there was nothing keeping you there. It's like he's just watched two people go into that water and drown themselves. He's not eager to get in and see if he can lift you out. Yeah. Uh, like So you've bit, yeah, you see him stop thrashing yeah, but... around and then you, you run. Essentially. Okay. Yep. Asking, like, okay, cool. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, so you run. What I do. No, you run back into the corridor, obviously. Like, this is during the you focusing on the universe part. So he runs away when you stop moving. Uh, you run back through the corridor, the kind of winding, unnecessary, twisty corridor, and you get back into, like, the kind of the raised up kind of section of the grand hall. Like, what do you, okay. what do, you do? Um. Ooh. This is probably I feel like, like... Full, full pelt running as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I would be proper. Time is of the essence. <sighs> Let me think, because what I would want to do was go to where I think the Queen's most likely to be. But I have no idea how long it's been since I've seen her go anywhere. Well, remember, you were in her bedroom with Zora, and then she left. Like, remember, she gripped your shoulder. Oh, yeah, 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 what way did she just back, so there was like a singular corridor, so that's down... Right. Do you know what, I might draw a very rough map, right? So, let me doodle this just now, right? Let's go for it. Let's go for some... Well, if I have a distinct idea of the direction she went, I would obviously so go in that direction. if this is the Grand Hall, right? And there's staircases... But then that was pre... Was up. that not? Right, so... Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't. And then... 
this goes off into pool of dodginess, right? And then through here leads to that kind of dining room meeting place, and then that goes to outside. And then kitchen is like off this way. And then this was to the dungeon. And then down here it was to all the bedrooms. Right? Mm -hmm. So, not a terrible map, but not the greatest. So, you were here when you last saw her. She walked up this corridor, and then you turned back to have a conversation with the captain. So, when she got past the corridor, you have no idea where she went. There's obviously other unexplored places and places that have been caved in. But, yeah. I, uh... And you are here, just now. I'll go to the kitchen. I think that makes sense. I think I would go to the kitchen. Yeah, so you run that way, right? So, back to Zora. Achievement 2, I guess, or is this achievement 3? 3, no. But before I do anything, I will uh, try to use my job jets. To get it. Job jets. Remember, blah, blah, blah. Wait, can you use them again? Job jets? No, I have a good or something. Oh, so, I thought you had earlier. For your jump jets, is that part of a move action to activate? Like, how yeah. do they activate? Uh, you can activate jump jets apart from move action in order to fly during the movement. 5 to 30 feet average maneuverability of maximum height of 10 feet. Like, 5 to 20 feet straight up. You must land at the end of your move action. Jump jets can't lift you if you're encumbered. This upgrade can be installed only in light or heavy armor. Cool. So, kick off with the jump jets. They start hissing like mad because obviously they're hitting war. Place fills up with steam. Seems less good. Obviously. And you obviously feel yourself being held underwater by some unknown force because you're, for lack of a better term, grappled. Grappled? Yeah. Like, you're, you're as I said, yes, yep. there's an arm right yeah, there. That's what I mean. Grappled. Yep. grappled. Yeah, I'm so, uh, grappled. yeah. So, okay. your jump jet's so like. They're obviously struggling against whatever's holding you, but they need you to not be held back, as it were. Okay. It's problematic. Mm. See so, yeah. here. Oh, it's. Uh... So, what's the nerve to breathe at this moment in time? Um, yeah, supernova. Okay. Why not? Fuck the water, I'll evaporate it. Let me just move the ships out of the way so I can delete this map. That map is a loose term. That map is a loose cannon! Uh, right, so, you're on the supernova. Yeah. So, we get this scene of the jump jets kicking off with, you know, the hissing noise, the place starts filling up with steam. We maybe have that shot of it, like the camera drifting down the corridor away from the room with the hiss filling up the corridor. Um, and then there's just harsh cut back to Zora under the water and then all the kind of Godzilla glowing through <laughs> your scales as you then just blow up that room, I guess. <laughs> can, Fuck that room. Can you give me a fort save? Absolutely. Cool. Um, let's see. Can you take 17 damage? Absolutely. Ooh. I'll take it. That's as the room caves in. So, Lyco, you run towards yes. the kitchen, right? But it's the war. That is the question. <laughs> so you, you run across the kit towards the kitchen. As soon as uh -huh. you start to like head down into the the kitchen corridor, you just hear a boom, and then like the place like rattle a little bit, and then. Um, yeah, what do you do? So that room you've just run away from has exploded. Uh, 
Um, Zig, do you want to roll uh, perception? And Nick, do you want to give me a perception as well? Perceive on. I think mostly I uh, mutter some expletives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. Uh, In what language? Whichever are the most uh, immediate to come to mind. Uh, I'm not actually sure what that would be. What have you been speaking most often? Probably common, right? Base common. Mm -hmm. Spawn. Spawn. Hey. Um. Zig, you. It's. It could just be something like a creature moving nearby, right? You don't hear enough noise that immediately says something exploded. Um, okay, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, you definitely heard an explosion coming from up the stairs. Which you were like halfway climbing at the time. I look back at my suit of armour. Yeah, it definitely yeah. looks uh, snug, is mm. the best way to put it. I could proceed back up the stairs with some urgency. Yep. So you bolt up the stairs. I... Here's the thing, right? How PG thirteen is this? Are is Nick like naked, or did you get clothing? Because that um... that I don't really mind. I'm not really fussed how that how that is, but. I feel like if it was a movie, you'd be naked. Yep. Yeah, like Terminator sure. style. Sure, let's go it? for it. Cool. Now, did you get four of it? No, I'm kidding. Let's carry on. <laughs> so, so you run upstairs towards that. I am... Is like you spot the queen, like, dart her head round? I am... I okay. Am, yeah. I think it. that would put him, like, sort of on edge a little bit. And, and you pretty much yeah, have been talking about numbers. You've been teaching her Ahsoka numbers. Like, that's... That's pretty much yes. the gist of that scene. And she says, I think we best go back inside to check on the others. Hmm. Like she's already like, okay. stood up and started walking that way. Um, oh, he's, he's scurrying on after her then. Yeah. And uh, I think it's that way where like, she, like maybe even when she heard the noise, like he saw her look for something. Because um, she's clearly aware that she's not carrying her scythe with her. So obviously she's quite swiftly making her way back inside. And uh, yeah. So like, oh, what happens? What do you do? Do you run back the way after you swear or? I, I think I have like a moment of indecision. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's like where we've got all the swearing because you're like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And uh, I probably would go back the way, wouldn't I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would be silly not to. Yeah, I I'll go back. It's if not, where else would you go? Right. That's, yeah. At that's this really point, at this point, I can't exactly. Yeah, I Life can't. I can't. Uh, could be captain though. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted a vest ship. <laughs> Actually, I don't think he's ambitious like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think you're all right there. <laughs> but yeah, you, you'll come, you'll come. Yeah, so like you run back the way, and I think by the time you get back to the kind of, you're maybe just about to hit the, the corridor that leads to the, the circular room, uh, Lyco. I think uh, next you spot Lyco running that way, as you like emerge from the kind of dungeon entrance. I uh, chase after him. Okay. Um, are you being particularly quiet? Or is nope. he just like slap, slap, slap on the, the stone floor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so... It, it, there's no stuff going on here. Cool. Michael, perception check, please. Yep. I want to know if you should... Well, you get one perception. Here we go. Okay, so you start running down the corridor and you immediately hear somebody like run up the stairs behind you and it looks like the thing in general chat there. Would I instantly know it's Nyx? No, no you would not. It's a big four-armed monster looking <laughs> like fucking robot creepy. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I, can I roll for perception again? 
for what? Perceive any sort of similarity to him? Like, I, I know I wouldn't instantly know, but you know... Uh, there isn't. No. No. I wouldn't. Like, get he's not that even at all. wearing his armor, by the way. That's why, like, he's it's an it's a big yeah, armed naked thing. Creepy man. Yeah, because as welcome. per the description, when he stepped out of his armor because of the weird white googling everywhere, um, he obviously stepped out of his armor. He then changed. His armor didn't. Why even argue? Right. So. Why <laughs> even argue? I thought you were an android. Uh, I, uh, we'll get to that. I will. Dro I will drop to one knee, raise a pistol, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and shout. Uh, I think, like, oh, Nick, so you've got time ahead. to react during this as well, right? You could shout something if you wanted during this exchange, as he like turns around, pivots, points gun. Do you know what I mean? You can see all that happen. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I put all four hands up <laughs> <laughs> and go, Lyco. Does I would know voice, the voice. Does your voice sound? sound the same? Um, or is it some horrible, weird, demonic reverby? Live. <laughs> Live. <laughs> uh, no, I think we probably just keep the voice the same. Yeah. Actually, I don't think that was functionally a concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the same slow, Live. dry. There's, there is a, a, a <laughs> milliseconds of hesitation. Before he lowers the gun and, st and stands up, and I think at that muttering point, like, more explosives. <laughs> the queen and Zig appear from the other room as well. Um, so you're all in the grand hall now, besides Zora. Um, and the queen what just what the fuck yeah, happened to you? <laughs> Weird. And at that point, the queen kind of runs in, and you just see like kind of like this purple glow from her hand, and she's Mr. Quint. Can you explain this? And a very kind of, she's trying not to startle the creature, but also trying to get an answer from you swiftly. <laughs> and uh, it's like, you'd, like, you step in and you see this big forearm thing from the back. Uh, I'm just pointing at Zig at this point. <laughs> um, Nick or Zig? No, Zig. Zig. Like, okay. hi, uh... What the fuck? I turn and wave at the queen. <laughs> How many hands? <laughs> uh, just the top right one, as the bottom two hands cover my junk. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, is it funnier I because you're calling it junk and you're an android? Is it? Fu I think it's funnier for that reason. Because <laughs> you were a junk trader. Um, no. Oh, not a hole like that. Now sounds like. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I think the queen like raises an eyebrow. And like she's still got like her hand glowing with this kind of like, like violet mist. Um, she says, "How?" Sorry, continue. She says, "Mr. Quint, an explanation." It's Nick's. Nick, I don't know. Is it Nick's five still? That's a question. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Okay, um... You could say that's a query. Ah. <laughs> Zig, <laughs> how are you here? Good damage. And not... <laughs> you were in the water. Um, water? The captain was um, in the water, um, and he, he... I think the captain may have blown himself up. Also, Captain, can you give me an athletics check for me while they're doing this? Uh, okay. <laughs> but carry on. Guys. Uh, Wait. D what? He just where's, shrugs. Where's I need a special athletic check. So your captain went into the water. Water? What one? The water you went into. Zig looks at him sort of blankly and. Also, oh, the last time you saw Zig, by the way, was in the white space, Nix, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, hi, Zig. Uh... What's hi. the captain doing in the water? Why is the captain in the water? I like the idea that Zig's uh... just staring at Nix, just blankly. <laughs> These are great questions. I guess we should ask him if 
he hasn't blown himself up. Uh, Why would your captain blow himself up? I, Sometimes there's reasons. I feel like it's becoming a habit. Why are you different now? <laughs> Could you change? She just tilts her head at that. I don't think she asks anything. I think she just tilts her head at that and just like... She probably wants to ask more, but you're kind of querying her. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Sometimes... Uh, we give an athletics check in the background again. Okay, okay. Go for it, Lego. Sometimes. Sometimes... I wish... I had normal people... to work with. There's a faint, dark aura glow from... Lyco as he's amped up on adrenaline for the situation. <laughs> like, <laughs> glowing eyes, you know? <laughs> the Brian. No, no, remember, like, he's got, like, black veins as well. <laughs> yeah. The aura, yeah. Like, the more, the more yeah. amped up he is, like, the more not yeah. human. It's a like. stress reaction, okay? <laughs> right, Zora, you've managed to, like, pull yourself free of the debris, by the way. Okay. So you can start making your way down that corridor if you want. Just start plodding down the corridor, like dusting myself off. Yeah. Just muttering to fucking fucking pools. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I mean, you took what seventeen damage? Yeah. <laughs> that was from rocks yeah. falling. <laughs> so almost, so almost stamina. Probably just be like breathing heavily. Did just fear, he does have a self-destruct end. button, right? That is what he has. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sometimes you gotta have a self disrupt one. Yeah. Um, and I think, like, yeah, carry on, Lyco. What were you saying to the group? I, I, I honestly think he was mostly just. You know, woe is me a bit over his situation. Yeah, like you said, obviously, like, sometimes I wish there was, you know, normal people here. And you, like, we get that shot of you and the, the veins and the stress reaction. A adrenaline rush. Uh, Maybe uh, just through the background, we've just got the kind of looming shadow that walks towards the, like the back of you. Maybe you pivot again with your gun. I uh. Can I roll perception actually? Yeah. Just to see if I know it's Cap. Because I feel like I would know his tread. <laughs> probably your modern as well. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah. You could probably recognise it even just from the breathing, a Vesk breathing. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, ah, well, sounds like he didn't blow himself up. And they'll turn around, and as he emerges into the light, I <laughs> realise how he looks a bit, ah. Yeah, <laughs> the captain blew himself up. Just play. Just, just get on his boots go. sparking and stuff like that <laughs> on his ankles. <laughs> I was just looking at the queen go, you've got to do your pod. Like, just like, I don't what the hell just happened? I don't have a pond. Point at Zeg again. He was... He got out of the water and he was... I don't... Did you tele... Can you teleport? I'm addressing it to Zeg, by the way. Not... That I know of. Hmm. I... Can... Hmm... Teleport's not the right word. There might not be a right word. Where is the wharf, the android? From before. I gesture to Nyx! <laughs> She's just staring at Nyx the whole time. She's like... Does he do this often? <sighs> she kind of you know, that to you, like, oh yeah. <laughs> I've only known him a few years, and yes. Wait. Well, I think yeah, you said that, but haven't you known him the longest out of everybody? Yeah, it's <laughs> still only a few years. Like was older than he looks. <laughs> so she. Did much, yes. Yeah. That's when I would probably notice the the, the, the Kasafis bot. Yeah. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say the head's oh, well, maybe more like a Kasathan looking head yes. than this weird yeah. outrider. I would like to go and go friend of yours. <laughs> no, a friend of yours, I believe. Huh? 
He did it again. I fear there's some confusion. <laughs> oh my god. I well, think the queen takes off her like cape thing that hangs off her shoulders <laughs> and she just walks up and offers it to you. And kind of like motions it towards her junk. <laughs> I say thank you and put it on as a cape. <laughs> so like a, a warning system for these sort of things? Is there any sort of She goes she does that thing where she, she like goes to gesture to your junk and then like pulls her hand back and just like bites her like finger. Like I didn't mean that, but it doesn't say anything. <laughs> she goes, Too embarrassed to say it. <laughs> it's more just she was like that he's like because he's hiding his junk, she knows he's embarrassed, right? That's her yeah. view of it. So she offers the, the transit modesty, but he puts it on as a cape, so she just steps back like, okay. The <laughs> thing is, here. he can do that while still covering his uh -huh. junk. Yep. <laughs> Four hands. Okay, Four I, hands. I apologize if this is insensitive of me to ask, but is this in any way Zig's fault this time? Uh, the floor. <laughs> No, it's sort of my own fault. Okay. <laughs> That's a bigger statement, really, isn't it? <laughs> so... <laughs> let's, you went into some water, and then you disappeared. Which... Please, at some point, explain that. But And then the captain went into some water, and I'm guessing, Captain, you weren't just determined to drown yourself. Um, God. And he couldn't get out, but there was nothing to hold him down, and I was trying... It, it, it was, you know, concerning. And, uh, yeah, so I come out to try and find uh, your, yourself, your majesty, to see if you could, you know, help with the water, um, because it's, yeah. Uh, and he just sits down on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like the gun to be against his head, scratching his I'm temple very, or something. Yeah. Very tired. I kind of feel it did the um, same, to be honest. <laughs> how's, how's the captain looking? Is shit. Look, he took 17 damage from so, him. <laughs> wet, and then not wet because of the supernova, right? So that's probably got rid of all the water from him. But then covered in rubble? Probably just kind of rubbled and, like, kind of, like, probably. Half eye, like, you know, you know, kind of like people... scowling at everybody. He goes downtrodden, almost like yeah. he's just like, like, like a wet dog. This <laughs> is like... this isn't how I wanted my day to go. Yeah, look, yeah. <laughs> see, whenever they crawled out from underneath the diner, that look. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it looks like shit, I think, basically. I think Zig would like go up to the cap if he's if he kind of, you know. I think you said you're sat down, yeah, Zora. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably just said to himself, I'm fucking drunk. I think, I think Zig would, like, go up to kind of touch him on the shoulder and give him a little bit of a little healy boost. Yeah. Uh, Try and give him yeah. some warmth of the sun, you know. Do you actually do uh, anything, or just, just, like... Yes, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mystic cure him. <laughs> okay. And what does that do? Does it give you stamina back, or health back, or...? Uh, well, that's a good point, actually. Just oh, it might just be hit points. Do you have any stammer store? I don't know. Hold on. If MD would not. have it, it would probably be the yeah. mystic, but I don't know if you have it yet. If that's even I happening. don't think I do. Because I don't know if you actually get it. But I'm not sure. I think it's only a 10 minute and a resolve point, right? Anyway, to get it back. Yes. Yeah. But we'll, we'll do that in a wee second. So, like. Oh. Maybe you go up and no, maybe you go up to like. Maybe I could solid tap. I still, I still go up and um... Maybe the scene is that Zig goes up to try and heal, and then you realise that it's maybe not going to do anything, and then you just turn the connect into like contact, right? Yeah, it's just it is just, like just touch him with the shoulder. Um, yeah, no, it's just it's just hit point stuff I've got. Yeah, sorry, I thought I had a stamina thing, but I don't. So I thought I'd turn around and say, "So you are it." Are you, are, you okay? are you good? Are you alright? It's so weird, Yeah, it's so weird. You alright, pal? You alright? So, Zora turns round and all the dust and the debris falls off your shoulders and you're like, your your head. And then you turn to Zig and you say what? So you're good? 
as a just the ball light. Like, but yeah, like, so see if you know, like that's perfect. So if you say, so you're good to zig. Yeah. How does zig take that? <laughs> Wrongly. <laughs> Given where Zig's head's been at with the captain and himself. Yeah. Um, and you've now just heard the I captain think nearly died going... trying to save you from drowning in a pool you weren't in. Yeah. Um, I think. Also, actually, I think if we go sort of down the route that he's like, I'm going over. Gives the captain a bit of a, a healage and some boostage and realize that actually I can't. And then when he says, you good, uh, he's going to take that as kind of, hmm, maybe I'm not good enough. Or... Oh my god, I'm oh, fucking <laughs> That's a teenager. That's a death. <laughs> fucking teenager. Like, and he would just go, hmm. And he'd, he'd kind of grip a little harder on the shoulder and just let go of the captain's shoulder and look at him and say you okay i'll be fine but mm, isn't that an answer zig would nod and walk over to nix and <laughs> this is the moment zig just grew up everybody <laughs> <laughs> wow see what's on your mind zig Um, I think I think he would stop at that, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and turn around and look at the captain, and walk up to him. He'd put his hand back on his shoulder, and mind link. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you yeah. sending to our poor captain? <laughs> it's the first time. Oh. Oh, is this the first? Whew. Whew. Certainly is. Certainly is. First time I mean, in game or first time in narrative? That's a good question. I'm sure I it's... My... I'm, I feel like you said you was mind-linked in the past, maybe. I think you did. I think there, there had been... But I think this might be the first time we see it in game, though. Yeah, I'm pretty certain yeah, it is, but yeah. we def I feel like it was mentioned that it's something they've done. Probably happened early on. Probably in his juvenile sort of... I'll make like where the stage. Mm -hmm. There you go, dismiss him as juvenile yeah. again. Oh. I'm not a fucking. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so I think more importantly, what's Zig uh, sending? Uh, Zig's gonna send him just a montage of every time uh, the captain, or in fact, actually anyone while the captain's been there, kind of. No, I, I don't want to say undermine Zig because I don't think they have been undermining Zig, but like. Underestimating and I guess in Zig's mind, undermining. So, is this anytime Zig feels dismissed is a better way of putting it? Yes. Because um, it'll be so like, you know, is this just specifically to the crew or anytime it's happened since, like, ever? I think ever. Um, it's going to start off with just the crew. Um, but so does it go backwards kind of then? Does it start with that moment? So, starts it starts from, like, just there, just now. And then back to, you know, where the captain jump jets away. Mm -hmm. going, Good job, kid. Bath. Uh -huh. um, and then just slowly, like, starts to speed up through every instance. Progressing, some... you know, like, go get firewood. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. go stay with the egg. Go, and then, you know, reversing right back, right back. And then once it goes, like, pre that, it goes straight back to, like, you know, temple days. Being, like, kind of bullied by the kids in the temple and stuff as well. Yeah. Um... And that's the, uh, that that sort of you know the you know the canteen mm -hmm. <clears throat> in the the, the episode zero, mm -hmm. um, and it, it just keeps going back and going back and going back like that. Yeah. So you get hit with like years of data of somebody being patronised and dismissed and looked down on, and a lot of it is by you and the crew. Okay. Right, so, so, I, I, I'm, this is going to get taken so the wrong way at first. Mm -hmm. A puncher? Uh, no. No. <laughs> so I, think, I, think, I think for like, the first time, you probably hear Zora laugh as in, like, he's just, he 
he finds actually something funny. Like, <laughs> so I, yeah. Like, he turns around, like, after, like, probably Zig is, like, looks infuriated. But, like, keep in mind, you <laughs> yes. know how this made Zig feel. It's not just you're getting a video, you're getting, like, mm-hmm. Zig's experience of it, right? It's, so it's uh, not yeah, the it's just like, literally, it's, like, Zig's point of view, so it's as if, like, reliving those moments as mm-hmm. Zig. Yeah, it's that thing in the, was it Strange Days, the movie, where people are getting off on other people's memories, the cyberpunk movie? It's that, right? You're basically, like, experiencing Zig's experiences as if you were him. So, you feel like shit because of it, yeah. how Zig feels. But, like, if that's how you, like, does that, is that the same response then, as Zora, is what I'm asking? Right, well, I guess then, if that's the case, I would probably feel down and then I would maybe, like, after I think about it, I would be, maybe don't laugh because, like, it's more the irony that he thinks of this, but, like, I actually don't think this is what he would find funny about it because he doesn't think he's useless at all and stuff. Like, like that's what he'd be laughing. Like, he'd be more laughing at the fact he's, like, underestimating himself. Or anything else. You could mind link back. I know, right? But, like, I would probably just get a stagger. And. <laughs> Uh, after like kind of like exhaling a bit mm-hmm. uh, and say so this whole time you've felt that we have been under what I'm trying to think about the word, uh, not undermining underestimating underestimating like contributions to the crew. Like, I think. I know, Karen. Or underappreciating. Underappreciating. I'm kind of sticking at that. It's like, maybe you're right. In the end, like. I'm not exactly the best people person, you know? But. I think there's like, anybody as you to say, be. Sorry, like, as you say. I'm not exactly the best people person. The camera clicks from like it being kind of tight on you and Zig to just a wide shot of the room <laughs> with all, every day in range where it's like Zig standing in front of Zora, Lyco sat with a gun rubbing against his temple, <laughs> like trying to like <laughs> breathe out the veins, you know? We've got caped and naked and um, <laughs> Nick's something and then the drug queen just trying to take in everything be like, What's happening? <laughs> and then we click back to obviously you saying, you know, not the greatest people person. No, he's either the greatest yeah. people person, but I think don't, don't treat the way that I treat you as a, I'm trying to think, um, me undermining you. Like, you're probably one of the most powerful people on this crew you shouldn't feel inadequate next five is nodding along in the background um the only reason I asked you if you were good is because well oh, it's, it's not exactly like the, the vest to worry but I guess like uh, yeah like, you've been distant recently I guess it's my, my job to worry I think Zig would just be kind of staring at the captain. His eyes would be kind of red, as if you know, like after, like when you've like rubbed your eyes too hard and you've like had loads of tears and stuff. But without the tears, his eyes are just dry and red. Just kind of staring at him, and he's like, "Um, I just don't know what I'm supposed to to be." I would kind of stagger at that, and I'd be like, I don't think any is at this stage know what we're supposed to be or do. I think you just see the Dry Queen raise her hand in the background and then not say anything, just put it back down. Because <laughs> 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 um, she's pretty damn sure she's meant to be a queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows she knows I'm she a queen! <laughs> I'm not 
just a med kitty kid, Captain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, try to hike, try to put this nicely. <laughs> is like, is Nix and Lyco just kind of sitting awkwardly, letting this play out? Because obviously you have no idea what Zig sent him. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of keeping my distance a bit. You know, mm -hmm. not, not, I've not run away. <laughs> yeah. I mean to say, like, I'm, I'm listening, but not really committing to entering the conversation until I. Yeah, you're not you imposing know, in the art exchange. Yeah, but you're still. Yeah. Being present, yeah, I get you. Nix. Mm -hmm. uh, Nix five doesn't know what was transmitted, but he's just nodding along with the sentiment, kind of agreeing. With, yeah, can, uh, like, I think as well, it's not a million miles away to guess at the fact that Zig has mind linked with the captain. That's obviously yep. that's that's very obvious for everyone present, except maybe the drug queen. And then obviously the captain got very sad, which is unusual to see the captain look sad. And mm -hmm. then. Zig obviously says, "Stop underestimating me, right?" So there is a you can probably pick up a lot. There's some context yeah. clues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it's like, I think Nix oh, is so. just sorry, following along, um, almost not aware that he should be finding it awkward. I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I can't. Uh, Zig, I'm old, and I'm a vesk. I've gave you a nickname. It's probably the most endearing thing I've ever can do to somebody. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it's not even a nickname to you, it's a title, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, even a title. And by God, is that a privilege? <laughs> I think it's a compliment. Yeah, is Zig want to roll culture for me just now, right? Sure. I want to know if Zig I... can translate what that actually means. Uh, culture. Yeah. Culturey. So my laptop's a bit slow. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if it fully makes sense to you what the captain means or not, but you, I, know, the, you know the captain yeah. is called the Abyss by any other Vesk, right? And anyone that recognises Zora would refer to Zora as the Abyss, not Zora, like you guys call the captain. And you know enough about the exchange between like Demogesh, the Great Epoch Annihilator, and blah blah blah, all that nonsense. You know, Vesk earn titles. That's like their rank. Yes. You know that much that ranks are a thing. So, I don't know. It's up to you as Callum to work out. Like, do you think Zig has put enough together? Like, has Zig seen past his own insecurities enough to realize that being called Medkit is a title that Zora has given you because you've obviously earned your place in Zora's head? Mm. Whereas, I think obviously, other Vesk sometimes go their entire life without getting a name. Yeah, I think he's too <laughs> drained mm -hmm. to to not take his word as what he's like. To not like to go like, oh no, you're not. You're just saying that. Blah blah blah. blah. Mm -hmm. um, I think yeah, because I feel like he's like when he mind links, he's he also does re. I have to relive it. Yeah. Living yeah. the moments, yeah. So I feel like he is just like drained, and he's just kind of only capable of accepting what he says as what it is at face value. Um, and maybe this is the first time Zora so... realizes the same thing as well, right? Maybe you this is the first time it sinks in for Zora that you're like, oh, I did give you a title actually. That does, that is a big deal. Like, maybe that's the first time Zora clicks that you're like, I never realised that I actually value you as much. Because you never gave him else a title. In the True, that's true. I, would, I, would, I guess I would probably kind of stagger at that. It was like, I, I guess I would probably say it myself, like, <laughs> the highest privilege indeed, or something. But I just, like, just stagger at myself, say it out loud, but it's saying it myself. <laughs> And I think at that Good. point, yeah. the, um, the Dry Queen kind of clears her throat and she goes, I have a couple of questions. Yes? We'll get to you. <laughs> and then she looks at Lyco. I have a pond? Raises an eyebrow. Uh, well, maybe not anymore. 
So the, ex can... <laughs> the, ex the explosion, she says phonetically, was you. I would point to my cell and nod. <laughs> Dust falls off your shoulders and arms. <laughs> yeah. Right. And Wee. it was from down there, and she points behind you, like towards the, the corridor. Of the boat. That's a gate room. Oh. You know, What's that? She kind of like looks to the side as if to a servant that doesn't exist, shocked. And she goes. And she kind of like does that thing where she's about to just say something catty, but she doesn't say it. She goes. We spoke of this in the vault. And she puts her like her two hands out as if explaining. The elf gates. And she like motions with one hand walking from like midair just to her palm. Oh, the, the mm. elf gates. I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, it means a transport. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Things are just like, I've just blown up. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe not anymore. Yes, I gathered that. However, you said something attacked him. She's talking to Lyco. Uh, okay, full context. <clears throat> we realized that Zig had kind of wandered off mysteriously, and after a while, I thought it was best to check. We uh, we found him, and he was just about to walk into that room, which is now was at that time uh, pretty much entirely filled with water from uh, from damage to the ceiling. And uh, he went in. I was too far behind him to do anything about it. But by the time I caught up, he was like submerged and he, it was like he was stopping the struggle, like he was giving in. And then, and then, he, then he was gone, but I wasn't close enough to know for sure that he was gone, but I was I went closer. Uh, yeah, I, I could tell. He he was he was really not there. Um, she's done and then pointing the captain, her finger between Zig and Zora, like she's not really sure which one you meant there. And obviously, and then she, yeah, she I'll, it'll be clarified from sure than this. Yeah. But anyway, and then the captain caught up and decided to follow Zig in. I don't know what. what I mean, I guess that I'm trying to sense the stellar energies. <laughs> I mean, sure. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't understand stellar energy, so that's I'm I'm, I'm just saying that's all I saw. I really uh, and then I I ran to try and find you, but I met Nix five along the way, or possibly Nix something else. Um, you know how you asked if if he does this a lot. Well, clearly he's done it a few times before we've met him. Um, yes. She just like <laughs> says that to continue the conversation. Um, interesting sidebar. My surname also means five. Anyway, he was now. Yeah, she just like shakes her head at that. Like she doesn't know what to do with that information. More. He he, he had more arms and uh, a sort of sleeker, more. Shiny design, a bit in your face with the gold and the, but I, I don't want to say tacky, but <laughs> not as subtle down. as your previous aesthetics. Uh, his cape. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and and uh, and then the two of you were there, and I was quite puzzled because he had gone into the water. But then I thought uh, he does strange mystic things that I don't understand, so. This is probably related to that. Uh, but there just before that, sorry, we, we heard, heard the explosion, or at least I, I clearly you did. But yeah, I... I uh, um, yeah. She exhales, like that took a lot out of her. She goes... Whew. I think the palace is haunted. Because clearly, 
she looks around. And maybe it does the camera does that wide angle of the huge <laughs> hole. And then it zooms back and she goes I don't think we should stay here any longer. Not if perhaps angry spirits long dead aren't happy with the current guests. You think it was spirits? And she says, Do you have a more accurate assumption? at present. Something which can grab on to you, but you cannot grasp back. Uh, I, d I, I really I really don't know. I don't think I wish to stay to be strangled in my sleep. <laughs> she, kind of, she looks at the captain, and then she kind of just like nods, and I kind of you all right? Kind of, you know, acknowledgement. I'm kind of probably acknowledging her. To be honest, it sounds like spirits. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking one whole situation. <laughs> I mean, um, but yeah, like, and she says, Akaton, I believe you wished to go to. Is that correct? Um, I'll be a dragon boss. She's got it. She's got it. Fucking teleport us. I've got a feeling about it. I would nod. Yes. <laughs> is, is Nico okay? That was, that was my mind. <laughs> that was my mind, right? Okay. <sighs> but yeah, like, so she says, I think you best gather your things and we should depart. Um. How goes the. Bone situation. <laughs> Maybe that like clicks another wee reminder in Lyco's head. That phrase. Bone <laughs> situation. Uh yeah, yeah. Uh, there are some things we should check on. Stand up. I'll assist in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I do for the gun in the holster. Uh, I'll assist in the. Uh, gathering of you know might I advise you not travel alone when walking the halls and no more water for everybody <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah uh sure and then she says I will be in the Dining room, when you're ready. We shall depart then. And she walks away. Or oh, not. Or at least uh, she goes to wherever she left her scythe, because I don't remember where she put her scythe, but I know she <laughs> left that room with it. So she doesn't have it now, but she'll go find it. <sighs> she we gather our things and get as much of this dragon as possible and get the hell out of here. I think I could use some time to adjust my. I would not. Uh, so Something I'll ask for his armor there, yeah. <laughs> yes, sorry. Yes. I think it's just your sensitivity is a tiny bit happy to cut the last words off. Mm, yeah. That's weird. yeah, it's a bit. Um, I would just be kind of trying to make myself useful. In fact, I'll say as much. Uh, wherever I'm best used, just point be that way. Yeah, and I think the, the, the three yous maybe just heads downstairs again to the, like, the like dungeon mm -hmm. staircase and whatnot. And like, Are you coming with us, Nick? I think there's a good pause for a second. Says this um, eight foot, four armed, caped god. <laughs> yes. Um, so you could definitely pause for a second, kind of stare at new Nix. Um, maybe we call him next now. Next. Next. <laughs> next. It's where Scottish next. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think he would just he'd, he'd kind of just accept that yes, this is Nick's and kind of have that thought of Yes, I was correct. He's not just a shard mm. and nod and say yes and 
kind of scurry up next to next. <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, ah, this is trickier than I thought. Mm. <laughs> Words scurry All up these next. Terrible up traps. Next. Do you scurry and, uh, up next? No. Mm, I, d- I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> I think I'd offer my, on my lower hands <laughs> to give you a lift up. Yeah, I think I think he would. I would like go to climb up him and then kind of stop myself and then look at him. Mm-hmm. Okay, if fast. Like, yeah, so. and that's when he motions to, yeah, climb one up on these arms. Yeah, and then Sig does so. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and like he's all head back downstairs. I am. I'm assuming you. So remember, it, it's about from. The Colosseum place to the top is about an hour if you walk in. Mm-hmm. And you're about halfway up when you had your episode, shall we say. You'll need a lot of time to adjust your armour. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it just depends if you want to try and just take the time now, which, given the impression the Drow Queen said, she doesn't really want to hang about in a haunted palace, which I think is valid. But it depends, obviously, what you and the crew decide, because this is the part where she has to uphold her end of the bargain for you guys for transport. So that's maybe a conversation you can have on the way down the stairs. What is <laughs> what? What's the the gist of it? Because obviously, you've put, I think, everything you could cram into the, like the pocket, right? The dimension. Yep, yep. Pocket. It's so, fully, fully. And I'm just going to assume that's attached <laughs> currently to your um, your armor suit. Yes. Which is probably standing Iron Man style idol. Yep. The music's still playing on the inside. Yeah. Quietly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously, ACDC, probably. Let's face it. It's Sheeran Funk. <laughs> yes. I like it. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, Nyx would definitely be in favour of uh, fixing the armour before going to Akaton. Unless the queen knows where she's dumb, where she's dumb, mm-hmm. where she's dumping us. <laughs> hey, I was gonna say, let's not call her that. Um, <laughs> queen, you're rather dumb. <laughs> At least not her face. Mm. Uh, yeah. um, what about everything else? What, what are you doing? Are you helping Nix with this suit of armor back upstairs? I guess. Can. Yeah. Probably also at some point see. So, Ekaton, we get there. What's our next step? Get in touch with the ship and hope that Alice can get these. Hopefully. Or get a way to get to the ship. More hopefully than I like, but... You, you... If anything, we should be able to get a shuttle towards the ship. Could probably get it from Castro Val if you wanted to, right? Could it? We could do a lot of things Castro Val. Um... So, it really depends what you want to do. Because remember, you've got a couple of options, right? Because you've discussed this last time as well. Mm-hmm. You could try and get a signal to Alice from Castrovel. Yeah. But you need to do that from like one of the main cities. Yeah. It depends how how willing we are to risk attention. Mm. But I just think if we yeah, go for if it. you want to mask yourself, the uh, the slums of Akaton. It's a pretty good place to hide up. Mostly because most people wouldn't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you could probably junk together something illegitimate and able to hide better than... It's unlikely you're going to get access to like military-grade radio tech in Castroville, put it that way. Mm-hmm. Whereas I almost definitely know someone in Akaton. Yeah. That has... Some... They might not know you now, but they definitely would have known you. Right. They will know. I guess that's probably a good place for us to go and like rearm and stuff as well and get together all our stuff. Right. Think of it this way, Nico. It's like going to the barras. I mean, that's good, man. That's a good thing. That's like you can get yeah, it on the barras, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you that the, uh, the, the um, police don't really want you to have here. Yeah. There's probably a bit like DVDs even. <laughs> well, there's no DVD <laughs> players. Don't get anything. <laughs> And the barras, so you've been there with me. We're gonna get there and find our ship there. <laughs> Alice has hawked it. <laughs> plan B. I mean, that's always the plan B, right? Go is that a new ship name? Plan B. 
down for go to. Go that, to no, that's the shot. That's the that's the shot. We'll never forget. Actually, I think I'd go for plan nine. Yeah, um, oh god, yeah, perfect <laughs> for thematic reasons. Yep. Uh, okay, so I could dance the next step. So I think yeah, maybe, from maybe, there, maybe we screen wipe then to the dining room wherever you like. You've dragged everything up to the dining room that you need. Um, and the queen walks in with her uh, scythe. She's like. Have you decided amongst yourselves when to go? Well, um, the is next year. Next is next year. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying yeah. everybody's in the room. Yep. Did he time to adjust here, or can we do it on Acton? Well, either I would like to adjust the arm, or be provided with a pair of trousers. <laughs> I think, I think uh, we can, um, Take off his like toga thing that's covering his uh, Yasoki armor and just hand it to him. Tiny little loin piece. I mean, piece. Yeah, but his toga to him is going to be like a skirt, you know, like a kind of. Yeah. I'll wrap it around like a kilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kilt and a cape. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> As if... More like a four armed priest now. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, I suppose I can do the repairs in Akaton then. Still terrifying. I sort of mutter. <laughs> I just wanted to take like, my backpack and cut two holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be undignified, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I've a nod to it. Like, but, in a but wind flaps the cape a little majestically. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the queen seems to have like slung together what looks like I don't know. It looks like a bunch of leaves and vines and stuff into like like a satchel that she's got like strapped over her back. Um, and she's got her her scythe. She's still kind of wearing like her torn dress thing. And she's obviously like vined up a bit, so it's got more movement to it. I would like to pass her a pair of goggles from my kit. Okay, yeah. She... No, Akaton can be bright and sandy. <sighs> and she so smiles and she kind of like nods as she kind of cups her hands to take them from you and she says thank you Nyx and she goes to see five yeah um weird I think I'll be weird now weird yes and she looks at the goggles and then like holds them up to like where light's coming in and looks through them and stuff holds them up to her eyes and then obviously pops them on in the background of the scene do you wish to travel by star vessel or a more direct route Sig puts his hard hat on mm-hmm I believe the captain prefers a direct approach. Not. Wait, wait, she's got a, you got a star vessel? <laughs> so you, you say, like, do you have a star vessel? And she says, do, do you have a star vessel? You just see her grin, the biggest toothy grin, right? With her goggles on her forehead and her scythe in her hand and her fucking, like, leaf vine backpack <laughs> on. And they're barefoot. Like a solar sail ship and also. <laughs> and she just she grins and goes, "I can get one." Um. Just go straight to the ship, then, right? But I mean, perhaps the direct approach is better, more a quicker approach. Yes. That would involve me transporting us to civilization on this planet. And then rerouting from there. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I can't move between worlds. Um, That's what the elf gates were for. We'll <laughs> 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 uh, just skip over that. <laughs> <almost said>. uh, <laughs> right. Um, but I can get us to a city, but that means people. That People mean star vessels. And she looks amongst a lot of you and goes, 
I'm sure between so the other way, I think we're gonna stop this one. <laughs> I, I am a queen. I am entitled to one by right. I come at you, that's supposed to go to be simple as well, I thought. Because uh. it's an RP with me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be necessary. Um, we might be able to arrange for our. If, if it's necessary that we uh, go into civilization anyway, at that point, we may as well just contact our ship. I would not. So to a city then? I would not. And then she looks at the weird and she looks at a Zig. Zig looks up. She's kind of just waiting on like a, an affirmation from everyone. Like, because her phrase was like, so to a city then. Odd. Then not. Cool. And then. She just like her kind of smile fades away, and you can see her like mutter something, um, but you can't really hear it. He's and fucking she, people. And she just like raises her hand. You probably are like fucking assholes. <laughs> Wanted to click, go roll the ship. The torch on his hard hat. On <laughs> click. Yeah, love that. And then uh, she puts like both hands out, and there's like kind of violet mist swirling around her hands, and like starts to like en encompass the group, and then it starts to spin faster and faster, and a bit like a kind of sandstorm. Pulls up, obviously the root starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it snaps forward like as if it's all pulled into a singularity in the middle, all the kind of dust and sand from around you, and all the kind of violet mist. And it vanishes to the sound of like um a pop and the sound of like a city and vehicles, a starport, people bump into you guys and you're like literally in the middle of like a massive city, and I think at that point, a uh, it does that zoom out of like a big kind of proper spiring spiraling metropolis city um, on Castrovel. I think we cut there. So session names. I've got three suggestions. There are many more. Quite frankly, <laughs> a fuck ton happened in this one. Yep. <laughs> uh, weird. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a weird session. It was weird. Weird is also an option. I know. I really like pulling our resources, but that's just because I'm a sucker for puns. Uh, <laughs> uh, I f fuck knows what else. Finally out of the palace, right? Um, as well. That's a thing. I was going to say when life gives you apples, but that's not even... <laughs> that's not sense. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? What do you do when life gives you apples? <laughs> you make lemonade! You jump between <laughs> universes, obviously. Well, I think the apple thing has been used because we have Far From the Tree from a previous session. When life gives you apples, you find a new life. I mean, yeah, no. Next has done that, right? It's going to be yeah. weird as fuck remembering you're called weird... No. Weird. You couldn't just to make it some... six, could you have to make it easy yeah, for everybody? Yeah, yeah. This is like, no, <laughs> this is at at some fun. point, I'm going to just like say, yeah, you fucking are. Like, yeah. you know. <laughs> I think that's what the Queen was implying, but I couldn't say it, because yeah. I'm like, don't do it, Ryan. Don't do it. It's, it wouldn't be very uh, regal of her. No. Um, Happily, Laika isn't at all regal. <laughs> She's still the one that she addresses first, though, it seems. Uh, right, out of those four... Does anybody have any other additions they want to put into the list? For suggestions? Uh, no. No, but one to one. I have a pond. <laughs> uh, I still have a pond. That one's for you, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you yes. blew my house up. Um, you blew my house. I blew up your house. <laughs> Holistic something <laughs> also is a good name. Is he, you don't know, <laughs> do you? <laughs> ah, it's 
such a fucking uh, zombie. hasn't scene. seen a Dirk Gently holistic detective. The, the, the American version of Netflix, yeah. which was Max Landis, I know. But it really is very entertaining. Although I don't think I saw the second season. No, I didn't. Um, it's weirder. Um, the first one was great, though. It I was think... so fucking dumb. I'm thinking weird is winning because it's a good checkpoint for that character. Yeah, right? for sure. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to go with that. Uh, yeah. Um, I was going to say weirder things. This may be a terrible <laughs> name, but uh, we'll go with weird. Intense levels of oi! <laughs> yeah. So we've got weird for that session title. Perfect. Let's have a quick nosy at goals. So, uh, goal one, get back to the final hour and regroup, re uh, rebrief. That's, I mean, we're a massive step closer. Yeah, we're on our way. You have one step closer to final hour. One step closer to you. Thank you. And <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> you say that, <laughs> I hope I hope we've got musical coming for all these goals. Uh, number two, make weapons to kill Hamani and store them safely. Right, again, one step closer once we get Nyx or Weird uh, into some kind of a, you know, I guess lab or workshop again. That mm -hmm. uh, Gain a valuable ally against the Mogesh, that's still underway. That's the moon. And then we've got Gather Intel to pursue Nyx objective, is obviously part of goal, goal one. Uh, and then we've got Explore a possible connection between the S and V eggs. So, Solar and Void X. So, they're all still in play, for now. Um, mm -hmm. What I am going to do, because it's there, I'm going to move Ziggs over. I'm going to fix that. Let me just undo this. So, cut that, move it. Yep, yeah, he did achieve a personal goal. Um, not that they exist anymore. But yeah. Also, uh, we did get the lads back together. Uh, we did, but you didn't do anything to do that, really. You ran away. I, did. I ran <laughs> around. Uh, I'm gonna clear these I because these are the longer myself. active. <laughs> I'm glad you said up. <laughs> uh, right. So, but you can see why Zig got his. I think. So we're one step closer to the edge, and he was about to break. So that's good. I have beer interlocutor. But let us go from But Zara, start us off. Uh well I enjoyed blowing myself up. <laughs> uh it's fun to have uh Nick's not Nick's weird mix. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that's cool. Um uh, it's cool learning a bit about query. Mm -hmm, yeah. Nifty. Very nifty. Very, How do you feel nifty. about everything query said? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, um, uh, 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 fed up with this, like, everything that's happened before will happen again, shit. And, um, it's gonna, I'm gonna, it's, it's ending now, okay? It's ending now. It Finishing ends it. tonight. It ends tonight. <laughs> Finishing so, it. In what way does it end, sorry, for you? Like, uh, weird. It's gonna be his own man. It's gonna be weird. But that's just weird. <laughs> I don't understand anything you're saying, but I like it. <laughs> I mean, do we understand <laughs> weird or next? <laughs> sure, fine. That's, that's, if you don't understand, if if you don't know, you don't know. I think it's uh, perfectly clear that Zora, it doesn't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sesh. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. Good. I'm glad. Sesh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No. Okay. Cool. Lyco, do you want to give us something? I. Other, <laughs> you know? Uh. It was an interesting one. I. F it's interesting that actually I feel I, I've I've come into the role of playing the weird character who somehow ends up being the straight man again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. But it was it was great fun having to do this at a little bit of interlocution where you're like, yeah, this is the, this is the people that you were speaking to before, <laughs> the person that you were speaking to before, just different now. This <laughs> happens. It's all right. Um, Oy vey, though. I mean, 
th- things things take some twists and turns. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, things take some fucking twists and turns. Um, mm. Yeah, no, it was it was it was nice that we actually sort of got the band back together relatively quickly. That was sort of comforting because it feels like yeah, we can move on to things now. Um, mm. Oh, sorry, There's also only so much you could really do in like the abandoned palace, right? Like, yeah, that was more of a catch your breath type place. Uh, or I'd be intrigued to see place. how we yeah, how we uh, handle uh, civilization. Yeah, or how civilization handles us. Um, I mean, we're just like, as soon as somebody bumps into her though, in the street. I uh, know she's 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 gonna be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Alice two electric boogaloo. <laughs> Um, yep. Oh, man, always... and Alice as well together. Oh, I can't wait till they meet. Oh, yeah, man. have fun at being that, Ryan. Yeah, um... right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just not make them bump into each other. It's going to be for an hour. He does a lot with awkward women. And I'm not saying it's a pattern, but it is a pattern. This <laughs> <laughs> Kate wasn't awkward. Shakos wasn't awkward. No, ch- tiny bit, tiny bit. Shakos, SK, I take your point. Yeah, I will concede that one happily. I'm um, assuming you brought the body. That's fair to you. It'd be rude if he hadn't, right? Surely we have buried that. I've ever, no buried up in the, I've been that nope. tiny bit, not. No, yeah. unless we sort of did it off camera. I mean, which I think we'd probably all right with, but. We didn't leave the egg, did we? I fucking hope not. No, because the egg was in the room with you. So it's really know. weird to be carrying a bit of boy. Like you <laughs> go, go you appear in the city with a giant glowing egg, a dead body from what clearly looks I like hope. a vault of Abadar employee. I um, hope we've done something to conceal this. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like the bag. It's the dead body, at least like in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I mean, this is still going to be really awkward to explain. But, um, I mean, why don't we go look for Abadar Corp? Give her, give her to her, give it, give her to them, and say, listen, dragons are a foot, <laughs> and uh, and this is their work. Please help. Mm-hmm. Or, or say this is your problem. Deal with it, because uh, we may feel that we are moving on to uh, more pressing matters. And if so, I think it makes sense to return her to church because they will probably be better placed to bury her appropriately mm-hmm. than we are. Yeah, makes sense, right? When you die, you take people back to where they work. Well, if it's a church, you yeah. do. <laughs> Um, okay, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how we explore in the city next yeah. session. Yep. Uh, this this by the way, this session was rough in my throat. <laughs> I had to do a lot of incredulous voice. Uh, Zig, do you want to go next? Unless Lyco's got anything else wants to add? No, I'm cool. I'm cool. Um, I, I, do you know what? I just liked this as like a stepping stone for Zig. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked the sort of almost reconnection with Nick's or weird or <laughs> whatever the fuck he is. Um, but also, I, I, it was it was kind of that defining. Oh no, you actually are the part of the crew moment, and it was like the, a lot. Of, I think I think through the past few sessions, like the entire crew's been fragmented a bit. Hi. Hey. Um, tended, um, but um, so it was nice to kind of have that sort of like everyone getting kind of pulled back together, um, and having seemingly uh, a direction, a unified direction. As yeah, because it was really good to see Zig be like, "No, I'm not just going to be dismissed by Yazora. Like, this is how it is." This is what I felt like. This is the shit I feel like I have went through. Boom. Have at ye. Yeah. Also, you can clearly tell uh, Query is from the game called The Shards of Eternity, obviously. Um, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. clearly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, did, I really enjoyed that. I also, re- I also really enjoyed 
uh, like those kind of what the fuck moments and going, <laughs> thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> and then that yeah. not actually being answered at all. Um, oh no! None of you have made me really any the wiser. Um, which 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 makes me very happy. Also, um, I like how like as well the group just happily accepted probably ghosts. Like as a, um, a reason. I like to the move group on. just accepted. We'll let Lyco explain this. He knows the least about it. Um, <laughs> there was a big section there where uh, my my uh, I was using Bluetooth headphones like an idiot and they died. <laughs> Um. Uh. It's okay. I think we're going, recording. To work. We got you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back. But um. Uh, I was I was trying to talk during some of it, but I realized the headphones I plugged in had a built-in microphone, and my laptop automatically switched to that microphone. And it turns out that microphone doesn't actually work. <laughs> um, Brilliant. So that was that was hilarious. Um. But no, yeah, I I really I just I just enjoyed. It. Good. It was good. Mm. It was nice to see kind of like uh, standing his own two feet, really. Um, it's also nice to know that like the captain will jump into dark, possibly ghost-infested water for you, um, and then you chew him out about feeling underappreciated. <laughs> after he... if he had known it was ghost-infested, would he have gone in? That's like, a different. And then he yes. Up, like... Okay. <laughs> it's okay to say that after the fact, and then. Uh... But that no, was good. I kind of do. It was going to help. I was kind of. I, th- I think we had reason. Yeah. I, I was poking the. I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, like, I like the fact that as well, like, without realizing the power of a nickname from a Vesk, like, Zig kind of gets a heads up about how respected Zig is to Zora without realizing. Because in Zig, a nickname's maybe been something negative in your life, like bullying throughout your temple days and such. Um, kind of being, like, you know, left to your own devices. Whereas yeah. Captain Zora so misunderstood. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, I think sure. I think it was it, it was nice I because th- we've had in game like those sort of like actual bonding moments between Zig and Lyco. Mm-hmm. But yeah. other than other than the start with you know Nix Nix five and Zig there's not really been any sort of that, any sort of defining moments between Zig and the rest of the crew. Because like you've got the impl- implication that Zig and Nix Five were friends anyway, like yeah. mm-hmm. just through uh, building stuff together. Like Zig's curiosity of shiny things and Nix enjoying company when building stuff, right? Like in the sense that Zig is as excited about stuff as Nix Five actually is underneath all the not excitement. <laughs> on the surface because um, if Nix is like do you think we should build a bomb and Zig's like I have so many shiny things to put in it so I always got that they would be close through their mutual enjoyment of uh-huh. things yes. versus the actual efforts that Lyco and Zig went through to make connections now where they probably yes. weren't beforehand um, and maybe a lot of that's because Alice is here now and Nix's attention kind of went to Alice Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I just, I think I just liked that this session wasn't just, you know, okay, we're getting those moments with Zig and the captain. It was like this moment with Zig and the captain, and with Zig and new. Mm-hmm. Next year. Yeah, it was a very establishing shot for everything. It was good. Yes. Yeah, that was. It was really good. It was nice to see. I said Zig kind of be like. Even just with Zora's reply, going, no, you are like you are your own person. Like nobody thinks any different. It's kind of good. Yeah, that's one. Um, I love the dry queen. That's that's yeah. it. How come? She's just she's just I don't know. <laughs> she's like um, Ziggs Alice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, oh. yeah, I guess she's a bit, yeah. Everybody gets an Alice. You get an Alice. You get an Alice. You get an Alice. <laughs> oh, I can't pay the tax on my Alice. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, last but not least, weird. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, why you weird, didn't they? Yeah. You got uh. the most weird. 
Yep. No. Uh, well, this is the last time session. we can expect this. <laughs> <laughs> I could not possibly comment. Um, and I do not know what's going on. Um, <laughs> no, that was that was a hell of a session. Um, I enjoyed uh, bringing about those changes that we discussed. Yes, discussed, Aaron. And actually, proper Christmas them. butterfly moment, right? Yes, and yeah, really bringing about aspects of Nick's that have kind of just been hinted at. Um, and I, it kind of felt like a decisive moment in ways often been, I guess, reluctantly dragged along mm -hmm. with certain shenanigans and um And some of that was implied, like, see that, like what you're saying about kind of like the dragged along phrase. Mm. I think a lot of that was implied in kind of Query's place in things, right? Yeah. Because Query seemed like a, a source of answers, funnily enough, um, mm -hmm. when it originally popped up. And Obviously, in the background for a query, it's been <coughs> guide this one so he doesn't become me. Yet you were yes. slowly becoming him, and now you've mm -hmm. totally chosen your own direction. A uh, hell of a difference. Yeah, right. Um, shout out to the character operations manual. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and also the armory as well for all those hidden options Nico found. <laughs> Yep. Army's good. Uh I look forward to kind of getting into more of the mechanical changes that happened here. Uh -huh. um, but what I like though is she was cho choosing the name Weird. Um, spelled like that. Because it's kind of got this idea of fate, personal destiny to it. Yeah, the W-Y-R-D for those of yeah. you. Yep. So it's kind of, you know, the double entendre. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's um, like you get to decide it yourself. You get to, as I said, you get to kind of path it out now. Um, and it, it was also pretty damn weird. Yeah, it, it, it was very weird. Very, very weird. Um, also, the other thing we, is, um, in-universe, the Kasathans are um, descendants of a race called the Witch Weird. Uh -huh. Spelled hmm. W-Y-R-D. So, you know, it's kind of got... I managed to kind of get three levels in there. Because nice. uh, I was nerding out... Um, yeah, like the lore for all this is really <laughs> awesome. It's nice to be able to touch on some of that lore. I am. Yeah. I think for me, what will be really interesting will be the. I don't know how the Cassathans would take an android impersonating them. Quite frankly, oh, yeah. I'm gonna obviously if you bump into any, that will be interesting. Uh, for example, Fine. Commander Babak. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm interested to explore that depending on how things go. Because next. Or sorry, weird might never interact with that. We're gonna have to change okay. your name everywhere, so I know it's weird instead of calling you Nix because it's been I two call years. Call you Nix. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. yep. It's okay. I'm well, sure I'll get it wrong. Yeah. Well, well we gotta call you Nix like the first couple of times I gave as well because I mean. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yep. The intro is gonna be fun watching you stumble over your own intro. Yep. Well done. Uh, yep. uh, it's gonna be great. Um, we always stumble over our intros anyway. So. Yeah, but. But this might not be like deliberate for a change. I think we change. more de headlong plow into them. Um, <laughs> the android formerly known as Nix. Yeah, yep. we're going to have to change yep. the, the credit screen. Um, yes, so awkward. It's great. Yeah, I'm gonna um, but aside from the weirdness, um, uh, I absolutely did adore Zig's action this session. Yeah, well, um, yeah that was good. It was kind of a nice combination of several sessions of like building frustration and pressure in Zig, which would be really cool to see. A lot of it's came especially from um like way back to like the even before the desert fight, right? So the mm -hmm. the kind of the solar bandits and whatnot. Like and or sorry, the bandits in the solar wastes. Like that felt like Bad. Zig venting his frustration for the first time, yeah. saying I'm not useless ever to get out of my way. Like whereas everything's been kinda of like just slowly piling on top of it since then and it probably goes back to like losing faith in like the Radiant Supreme, really. Because yeah, that's uh -huh. that's who you looked for. So what yeah. you're saying is it's my fault. Uh, it's absolutely your fault. Probably. Yes. Million percent. So. That's why we left you to explain it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and what a job I did. Incomparable, really. 
Überraschen. That makes um, sense. Yeah. Uh, what about your revelations given from the other you? That was really cool. Yeah, that was very useful to get. Um, yeah, just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. There's some plot here. Uh, there's a plot of ruin! And yeah, it kind of... It's given Nix a lot to think about. It's a weird lot to think about. It's given yep, me a yep. lot. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. You, you heard nothing. It's given us all the things to forget and remember, uh, and then probably forget again before the next catch up episode. <laughs> yeah, man. What a fucking game, right? The good thing is, I don't know about you guys, right? Does it feel like you've stopped gaining more stuff on the agenda and you're actually able to start working through stuff? Or does it still feel like you're getting more stuff? Uh, it's, just, it's, it's feeling like we're picking through things now. Yeah, yeah. it's starting to at least. <laughs> I think this session in particular is kind of like that sort of, you know, you, you, you reach that point where there's all these branches to go down. And this is like, right, okay, we are now going down a path. We're not sure which branch this is, but it's definitely a branch. Um, it definitively is a thing. Yes, we're definitively moving <laughs> whether or not forwards that we've chosen is good or not is, you know, up for discussion. But I, th I think this is definitely a definitive point within the within the story. But Yeah, I think that makes sense. Which is good, because I want it to, because I'm writing it to make sense. <laughs> yeah, well. um, I've updated the credit screen for you, Alex. It's all good. Perfect. There we go. Good. I'm just going to do Weird. it from, from now. <laughs> I love it, Nick. Uh, um, it's good. I thought so. Uh, please don't change your names, guys. Uh, and Unless Zig starts going by Medkit out of Pride now. Um, <laughs> the burning it's like, yes, I am one of the best. Mm -hmm. Medkit. Medkit in the grace of the Burning Mother. Yeah. Uh, you would only know me as Medkit. That's my new name. Burning Medkit. <laughs> oh, That'd be great. That doesn't seem so healthy, but yeah, definitely. Ah! Um, I'm trying to kill myself, but it yeah. only hurts. Sounds amazing, it's like a pure combat medic. Sort of bonding oh. med kit. Weird. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, only that I'm looking forward to next week's session to explore more Everything mechanical is. aspects of weird. Yeah, I think it'll be good to see what happens next. I time. think there'll be some more surprises in there for people. <laughs> I, I fucking ban on it. <laughs> I think hopefully if things go to plan he laughs insanely into his head things don't go to plan. Um, that doesn't happen what are you talking about but if things go to plan in theory there shouldn't be much that doesn't get you back to your ship right mm. next session but you are all now back in civilization with a dead body with like a dead body and a giant gold egg and a mad queen who's well, she's not mad, but she's she's out of know, touch. Weird. Out yeah. of touch. <laughs> yeah. You're out of touch. <laughs> you're yeah, out we can just pass it off as crazy, and she's not going to mad. When you're she's around. armed with a scythe and goggles, right? She's crazy. She's clearly she's a cosplayer. Punk. It's she's the same cosplayer. thing. It's fine. <laughs> um, thanks for playing, guys. Spoiler. No, thank you. Bye, thank you for this fucking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. you. Know, uh, uh, another thing I'd, I'd, I'd mm -hmm. think, I think the new goal system kind of relieved a lot of pressure to try and focus on forcing mm -hmm. aspects. Yeah, I think that's, um, that's good as well. I think, I think that made a huge difference for me. Mm -hmm. um, Would that be pressure no mask for? What we'll hopefully do is obviously with a bit more experience at the goals, and in theory, a bunch of them like should be completed soon, right? Because if you've managed to do get to back to the ship next session, then you will, in theory, complete goal one as a group. So that's a start, and by that point, then Colin can work on goal three or four, or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's goal four. So. Yeah. Or yeah, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, the other goal that he has. My one. Until. Yeah. So that's My end. how I'm looking to go forward. Um, I'll try again. If anybody has ideas about what the additional 
perk of getting a goal complete because again I do want people to care about suggesting goals I, mm. know, I want to encourage participation at all times um, I'm sure I already said gun right gun yes just randomly a gun falls out of there every time like, every time you complete a goal um, <laughs> I mean to be honest that's not that weird in this game so if everybody wants that I can't guarantee what gun you'll get but you know Really, I'd prefer it to be something you like. Guy and gives you an item. Like I don't know. I've got no idea. I'm happy to try something like inspiration from D&D Five. I'll be honest. I really don't mind that being as simple as because it's an easy way to implement it. You roll twice and take the better result. That's it. I don't. Free mind. ability swap. Free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you grow an extra arm every single time. Um, <laughs> So it could just be a ball of arms, which would be yeah. absolutely horrendous. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, thanks everyone for playing again, and goodbye. Good and good night. Bye. Bye.